Hello, everybody. We are here to continue our super mystery dungeon playthrough. I don't think I'm not. I'm not sure if I just never took note that the like the continue button was a scarf, the player scarf, or if it just updated to that since we got to that point lately. But I don't know. I still like that. I still like that touch. <laughs> And as for YouTube chat, why is it showing? Is this a new intro for something? I made that intro hilariously, like, like, even though I knew that Super Mystery Dungeon didn't have, like, a cinematic intro, I forgot, like, it consciously and made that intro to kind of celebrate, like, hey, <laughs> we played through all the other Mystery Dungeon Pokemon games. So here's a little special diddly dee to celebrate that, that we're playing the latest brand new mystery dungeon. <laughs> I thought it was the game for a second. Considering this is an anniversary game, it would be kind of a neat diddly dee. <laughs> One little side note for the little intro I made. I went out of my way to restart Gates to Infinity. It was like intro cinematic thing multiple times until I got the hero partner of uh, Snivy and Axew. Like, it's basically impossible for me to do that for Explorers, though. <laughs> Explorers, too many heroes and partners. I only got Riolu to show up once through that, so I was like, ah, I'm not even gonna bother to even try to get a Riolu and an Eevee to show up for the Explorers. <laughs> but either way, last time that we played this here Super Mystery Dungeon, we had more school times. We made things up with Gabriel. He was nice and, like, threw aside his melancholy to help us save Badu from the honey factory. <laughs> because all the workers went insane. And then, yeah, we just hung out as friends. He gave us the... <laughs> uh, also, I just realized, I didn't even comment on it last time, but we actually got a bit of backstory for the partner. Like, straight up. Because in Rescue Team, there is no backstory for the partner. The Rescue Team partner just exists. He is your friend, and that's basically it. Then in Explorers, there's a little bit, but it's mostly just, Hey, I found this interesting fragment, and I'm going to discover its secret someday. That's basically all there is to hit their backstory. Then there's GTI, where the partner does kind of have a backstory, but it's more just like a singular emotional moment to define them, where they said they never have, never had any family, never had any friends, basically admitting to being an orphan, and that's why they wanted to make paradise. But here, Gabriel admitted that he was dropped off on Terra Costa's doorstep, wrapped in those, like, scarves, and he was saving them to give to someone special, which is just very neat. Which is kind of neat. <laughs> I usually rewatch the parts of streams I missed. <laughs> and kind of answers why they have a Kira, uh, Kira Costa as a grandfather. True. But at the same time, this is the mystery dungeon world. <laughs> we don't even know if egg groups exist here. Granted, this is also the first one to explicitly go out of their way to be like, Hey, you, you look like a young Pokemon. And you have to wonder, is it because their first form or is it because they are actually young appearing <laughs> it's just there to extra hammer in like hey you are playing <laughs> as a young one you are a young pokemon in this one where else in all the other ones a like every single partner in the past mystery dungeon games were homeowners the rescue team partner gives you a house the Explorer's partner technically owns Sharpedo Bluff. And then you open up GTI with your partner becoming a landowner, which is just hilarious. All of them, they are adults. They have deeds and everything. These ones like, nah, you are child. Which is extra, extra kind of disturbing because we're going to be thrown into life and death situations like crazy. But enough rambling from me. Let us go back. Oh, yeah, I forgot to fully complete our recap. 
Because uh, then we ran into Ampharos, the Dashing Wanderer, who dropped his connection orb. And we went to go find him. Gabriel completely just ignoring Ter uh, Terracosta's, like, uh, demands to never go to the Polyrath River. And we actually held our own, except for one of them to just get up and be like, surprise, I'm alive. Only for Terrico, uh, not Terrico, it's Amphros, eh, bring. Only for Amphros to come in and save us. And make us Junior Expedition Society members. And I find it hilarious that in that scene, Gabriel just doesn't care. It's like, at first he's like, wait a minute, why do you have all this stuff if you're not a part of this Expedition Society? Yeah, you know what, I don't care. Come on, Neon, let's go and get some rest so we can go on an expedition tomorrow. And Amphros is just like, huh. <laughs> And then there's just, like, all of the foreshadowing that's going on. Again, Rayquaza is fleeing the planet. A Deoxys gets bad vibes from the planet. A Waylord was turned to stone. And there's a dark, evil presence, presumably around Serene Village, feeling discontent rising. And Ampharos came to Serene Village on Expedition Society business because they got a tip that something was going on. So I was like, I don't know. Thing is weird. <laughs> I mean, in the Pokemon anime, aging is differently than evolving. Yeah, it's just funny. And, like, uh, I also feel like uh, a lot of the Mystery Dungeon fanfics I read also do the same thing, where they're like, does, especially because every single Mystery Dungeon game locks off evolution, so they kind of have, like, can't just be like, oh, if you're a first evolution, you have to be a child, because for a long time, for stretches of time, people couldn't evolve at all. It's just like, who knows? It's just one of those things that like, ah, we're a Pokemon game. We're not going to directly touch on that. Gabriel is a simple lad. I don't think he's a simple lad. I think he's just an excitable lad. I feel like he's... Like, I feel like he... he out of any, like, partner out of uh, Mystery Dungeon game partners, he might be the one to potentially have, like, a... Uh, to be deeper than the other ones, especially because we're focusing on him so much. Rescue team, partner, hardly anything. Explorer's partner did have more. Again, the Explorer's is kind of like you're the sidekick and the Explorer's partner is the protagonist, the chosen one. And then the GTI partner kind of had more emotional moments. But again, while I was playing GTI, I had the fear that Locke, my, my partner, was going to break and fall to despair. So I was like, I don't know. I feel like out of all of the Mystery Dungeon games, if they're going to do something funky with the partner, break them down for more emotions, this is the game to do it. <laughs> but let's journey on. The next morning. Neon woke up just like always and had breakfast with Nuzleaf. We don't even have a table. And then headed to class with Gabriel. Then after school... It's a clink a clink, not a ding a dong. I like that little just grabbing animation. School's out. Let's go to the plaza. Let's start our junior expedition society work right away. But first we have to talk to everybody. Well, don't you look like you're having fun. Not that I'm interested in why or anything. I'm not I'm sure it's just something uninteresting. Ah, <laughs> uh, silly little man. Adino out there either causing injuries or healing them. Oh, lots of things to steal. But I just got a note. This music is a bop. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder on why my explorer's partner literally owns some land. Like I said, every single partner is a landowner except for this one, apparently. <laughs> the rescue team, he gives you land. He gives you a house. Explorers owns... <laughs> Sharpedo Bluff. And the beginning of GTI is getting the deed to some land. Oh, we found an apple! And a petrify wand. Is there some reason you've come to the office? Hmm? I'm a busy Pokemon, you know. Yes, yes, very busy. So very, very busy. I'm busy, you see! I feel like that guy has some issues. It's nearly time for summer vacation again which means that I probably ought to pick up the pace a bit in class. Be prepared. Be prepared. 
Are you enjoying your school life? I hope you enjoy both your classes and your extracurricular activities. Well, we are going to begin our extracurricular activities here soon. It's sure been awfully hot lately. I can't concentrate on lessons when it's hot like this. Oh, there you are, Adino. Neon Gabriel, see you tomorrow. Be safe on your way home. Oh, and those scarves. They look lovely on both of you. Aren't they, though, the greatest scarves in the world? <laughs> it's like classic Sonic being 33. <laughs> classic Sonic midday, <laughs> midday crisis. Well, if you live a day, midday crisis would be your midlife crisis. Whilst Morden, modern, <laughs> Morden Sonic, that's his middle name, Sonic Morden Hedgehog. <laughs> While, whilst modern Sonic is 15, it doesn't make sense. Such is the way of life. Oh. Hey, Amphros, you're back. Or, well, I guess, wandering around like a fool. Amphros, are you okay? Yes, I will survive. I recognize that voice. You're those children from the village. Yep, and wanting to start off our first expedition as Junior Expedition Society members. Will you really? Well, do your best. Ah, but wait! I am recalled to the fact that I never did explain how to use that connection orb. Silly me forgetting to explain the most essential part of the whole process, indeed. So if you'll allow me, I will now explain how to use your new connection orb properly. First, I'd like you to start by taking out your expedition gadgets. Gabriel and Neon took out their expedition gadgets. Do open your gadget, it'd be if you'd be so kind. Ah, no! I don't know why, but that triangle with, like, balls at the end of each point reminds me of, like, I don't know. Is it Brainiac symbol that it reminds me of? It reminds me of something. You have the connection orb in there, don't you? Try selecting the connection orb icon on the lowest screen. Yes, yes, that's the spirit. Now have a look, little look inside. Oh, hey, a Sylveon. We have to save me. I see a Pokemon. Also, I see a bunch of stars on the bottom screen. And she seems to be saying something. Sylveon, is it? Let's have a closer look. Press A to view a Pokemon's post. What, is this Pokemon social media? Oh, now I see Sylveon's post. From Foreboding Forest. I have no idea where I am. It looks like she can't find her way out of a dungeon and needs some help. Yes, that is how the connection orb works. It enables you to see the troubles and wishes of the Pokemon around you. I suppose in a way this kind of makes sense to how, like, Pokemon job listings get added to a degree. Ish. <laughs> like, on the one hand, it's kind of like, oh, there are Pokemon that have these connection orbs, and they set the requests on the boards for guilds to take. But then it's also just kind of funny that these Pokemon then are obligated to pay you at the end of saving them. This game is unique in how it handles the gameplay loop of a normal Mystery Dungeon game. I can definitely feel that. Which is kind of neat. Because Rescue Team and Explorers were basically the same to a degree. Except there were explicit outlaw, like, boards for Explorers. Then GTI was weird where you could only select one at a time. For, again, I assume for balancing Paradise. And I guess they decided to do something entirely different here. It enables you to see the troubles and wishes of the Pokemon around you. Wow! So now that you know, what will you do? Will you embark on this expedition? Of course! I want to help Sylveon! Then go ahead and accept the expedition request. Accept the request? Of course. I jotted it down on the expedition list. You're needed in the Foreboding Forest. Press B to close the connection orb and head for the Foreboding Forest. But I want to kind of look around. There's a sparkle. But I guess either we can't do anything with that yet or it'll be later. 
Very well done, my little villagers. This is how you can receive requests for expeditions that need undertaking. Could I ask you to open your expedition gadget once more? It's just like, but I just stopped it. <laughs> I just put it away. And here you can see something called the expedition list, yes? Try selecting the expedition list icon on the lower screen. Yes, that's one. Have a look at that list. You can see the expedition request that you recently accepted right here. When you have accepted a great number of requests at one time, you'll find it quite convenient to review them all here. You'll find that you can now visit the foreboding forest from the village gates. Good luck on your expeditions, then. Yeah, thanks, Ampharos. All right, this is our real deal. Neon, let's do this! Gabriel and Neon can now use their expedition gadgets. You can check out your list of requests, the map, and the connection orb. Huzzah. That's interesting. Kind of makes me wonder, like, overall. Like, uh, I guess it's because they didn't want to, like, actually have the player, like, uh, blah, blah, blah. Like, actually join a guild when they're a child just yet. So they're kind of like, how do we do that? Let's give them a magic device. <laughs> Reminder, you're not a rescue team after all. But at the same time, explorers still did went on request, like rescue requests. So to me, it's just like, we are a Pokemon guild society thing. And it's like, oh, you go out and help Pokemon. So it's just kind of generally the ki that kind of thing. I wonder if you could skip the school to do more guild work. <laughs> you're just like, but Mr. Wadgehog, we went to save Pokemon. Instead of school, you still need a basic education! Good afternoon, Gabriel and Neon. I'm just dashing out to buy some things for tonight's dinner. I hope it is delicious. Put away the healing loop a lot. And honestly, I'll... Yeah, I'll put away those. I should probably, actually... <laughs> Put all the way. I have so many good apples to sell if he has good apples to buy. Wait, I could actually see. How many apples do I have? Apparently, I have no apples. Oh, because they're good apples. They don't list them there. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Watchhog, I have a nine to five now. <laughs> that, that's a good one. That would actually probably knock Mr. Watchhog out and just be like, but you're a child. You're supposed to live, do child things. Also, we have bag upgrade 32. Woo! Love it. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. Let's see how many apples you have. You have two apples. Of course, we will buy them. And that max elixir. Hmm. Do we also buy an Emera up orb? It would be nice to have for emergencies, maybe. And honestly, also buy that because we have a decent amount of apples to sell. I'll quickly check my apple reserve closely, just in case. I have nine apples. Uh, with the two I have extra, I, can, we can, I feel like we can sell at least a decent few of the good apples that we have. Let's see. I think that should... Yeah, 400. Recoups the cost of the things we bought, basically. Yes, I want to sell, for I am the Apple Tycoon. I am the Apple God. Because I don't want to get rid of too many of my diddly -dees. I think that should do good. Now we'll walk around and talk to everybody because we can. I can't wait till we get to go to school. It's going to be so cool. That's what you all think. That's just this again. I always want to check on him to make sure he's not updated and, like, found his spine. We can actually do things. Sylveon should be somewhere in the foreboding forest. Good luck on your first official expedition. Neon, don't get distracted now. After all, we said we'd go to the foreboding forest to rescue Sylveon. But I want to say hello to Mama Kingascon. And we can see the world map, or at least a part of it. Ah, achievement rate? What does that mean? But interesting. 
Again, world map. I don't think you'll be able to, like, make the super duper map that you want to, Gabriel. I think they have it already. But I want to check, a, like, take a look at these. Yeah, Pokemon you've met is a Pokemon that we've yet to meet. But definitely interesting. It'll be interesting to see it unfold. Also hilarious that Gabriel, the one who gets distracted the most, is the one telling me not to get distracted. <laughs> Mr. Watchhog, I'm sorry I had to fight Darkrai in my dreams. <laughs> now I'm imagining Chatot and Mr. Watchhog in the same room. <laughs> Hello. Hello indeed. We're going on our first Expedition Society diddly dee. Rescue available five times. <laughs> Items are okay, and we can have up to a, a team of three. Oh, this is cool. The floor, it tells you how many floors are in the dungeon, the difficulty of the dungeon, and the floor that the expedition itself is on. Interesting. Well, we shall go. Will you go to Foreboding Forest? Yes! We must. I'm trying to remember if this is similar to last time. Because I think we were here to save Gumi that one time. But it seems very purple. So I don't know if it changed or if my memory is shit. And a blast seed so we can annihilate some fools. The music is very much a bop, though. I smack you. Get burned alive. And now I'm just imagining, like, uh, the human character swearing like a sailor, and everybody is just like, no, do not corrupt the other children. But, like, not even in an angry way, just, <laughs> just like, a... Like, I'm trying to think of the words to describe it. Just kind of like a mundane, bored kind of cursing way. It's just like, eh, shit, if that, that, that just that sucks. <laughs> just like, very low-key curses just thrown out of nowhere. Haha, <laughs> get confused, idiot. You will not use your fairy wiles on me. Technically, that's what will happen when we find Sylveon. And her, and her fairy wiles will be giving us money. The music's so good. <laughs> Only six hours in and three bosses in and finally to the first of the core gameplay loop. To be fair, wasn't it kind of similar to GTI? Because GTI went through like two of the six bosses in the first stream before, like, uh, we actually made a team. How dare you quick attack me. That's illegal. In 55 states. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting you to walk towards me. Oh, you approach me. I can't stomp the shit out of you unless I get closer. I wonder why punching plants isn't all that effective. Ah, I'm... I'm Aha! Good job there. Power boost Y, I believe this is special attack, so we shall give it to you, my boy. And I will take the other one. Already here for kicking ass. Again, the Imaras is such a cool way of doing this. Goodbye, Oddish. I nom you. And I already evolve. I already evolved. No, I already level up. Force Palm! That could be nice. It could paralyze an enemy while making it unable to attack for a while. Ooh. And it is fighting, so it is very nice. Hmm. It has a base power that's very good. Hmm. Honestly, I guess Vacuum Wave will be my general 
Because if we get Force Palm, that can be my close quarters fighting move. So yeah, I think we'll get rid of Quick Attack. Because I want Force Palm. I want to live that Riolu Lucario fantasy. I wonder if I can get Aura Sphere. If I remember correctly, that's a Lucario only move. But this is a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I want me some awesomeness. <laughs> Let me live out that power fantasy of being a gifted Riolu. So I can Aura Sphere some people in the face. And my brain went, up, went to a place. But unlike all the other <laughs> partners and heroes, these characters are children. And that would be a very much an inappropriate joke to make. Force Palm, oh, not Force Palm. Ah, <laughs> apparently, that Imra must have really powered us up because now we're one-shotting these Starlies. Also, I wonder why, hmm. I, I guess the Starly is a flying normal type because the flying should be resistant to fighting, but the normal is super affected by f fighting. So it's kind of like evens out. Although I just, uh, I guess I did make the mistake because now fairy types are going to kick my ass. <laughs> if my PMD character swore as much as me, Chatot would probably kill me. Chatot would kill you. Mr. Watchhog would just die on the spot from an aneurysm. You say fuck in front of Mr. Watchhog, he instantly explodes in rage. Taking out all Serene Village. I just, I really enjoy the music. At this point in the series, there's only one pure flying type, and it's a legendary. Ah. Oh, hey, we got a, we got an Orin Berry. I wonder why it was a sparkly Orin Berry and not just a normal one. Again, it would be kind of neat if, like, uh, I don't know, if there was, like, a small animation of the hero and partner sharing the apple. We'll go ahead and guard boost, because we can. You failed to affect me, motherfucker. <laughs> that Imara will be mine, hopefully. Imara is mine. Sleep guard, huh? Since I don't have any others, place. Good job. Our apple tycoon business will flourish. Let's see. That's nah, just a normal apple. But we could all we could always use more normal apples. Well, we don't really care about the blast seed. A tiny reviver seed. We could always use more of those. And honestly, another Orin Berry wouldn't be bad. Hello, dear Kecleon. This is what we wish to buy. Thank you very much, Mr. Kecleon, for facilitating our war against these motherfuckers. Back in wave. We must explore the entire dungeon for emeralds and treasure and murder. Now I'm reminded of, like, uh, Brennan Lee Mulligan on the concept of combat experience. Where he's just like, in a universe that's based on combat experience, school would just be murdering some motherfuckers. You just, your class project would just be going to a forest and burning it down. Dang it. We entered from the wrong point. And we lost it. I wonder, does Vacuum Wave go across? Damn. In the terrified status, the Pokemon can't use moves, items, or stairs. It also can't do many other things, such as switch to the leader or look around. The status will go away after a while. 
Well, you're a little annoying, ain't you? Die. You know, it would be kind of interesting if dungeon Pokemon could steal from Kecleon. If you could use wild Pokemon to launder Kecleon merchandise. You just have plausible deniability. We are here to murder you. Yum. Uh, murder you? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that you had only a little bit of health left in you. Uh, Spritzy, I think it's called? I haven't, I haven't been paying attention to the species of Pokemon I've been obliterating. I think that's... Oh, no, he's going to go to the other dungeon place. Ah, we'll let that Taylor live. We'll let you live. <laughs> Probably the most horrific thing to hear out of the mouth of a child. You can't give me baby doll eyes. Only Gabriel is allowed to do that. Again, though, like, this hero and partner have the biggest opportunity to being, like, super-duper friends. Like, having an honest connection. What, what, what did that say? I felt like there seems to be someone ahead. I guess that's telling you this is now the floor... Okay, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Technical... <laughs> Jumping back a bit. With the... There's only one pure flying type, and it's a legendary. Technically, too, if you count literally God. <laughs> you uh, reckon if all Pokemon Mystery Dungeon characters would be confused with how different each other's regions are? That has been my go-to joke with, like, the rescue team hating everything when they go to other regions because they're just like, what do you mean that, like, this this extremely rare HM is just a TM to you guys? And what do you mean you don't even need it to go to these dungeons? We need to at least have it in our, on, in our inventory to go there. And they're just losing their mind, both explorers and rescue team annoyed at GTI's continent for not getting hungry all that much. The GTI team is just built different. We don't get hungry on expeditions, except very specific ones that I never went to. <laughs> You're implying a protagonist synonymous. Where they all the humans get together just like, Hello, I literally died and got blasted by a meteor only to be resurrected by my worst enemy. I got erased from time. All my friends were supposed to forget me, but they powered on through. And now I can go between the human and Pokemon world, both rescue team and explorers, just glaring at the GTI protagonist. <laughs> what do you mean you go to school? Yeah, we go to school, and then after school we save the world. We don't get hungry, but we can only help one person at once. I guess that kind of implies that, like, the GTI expeditions are shorter to a degree. So it doesn't take them as long, so they don't need to pack as much. <laughs> From Twitch chat, GTI team just has snacks on tap. <laughs> Yay, you found Sylveon you were looking for. The Sylveon. Great job! Oh, you saved me! I get lost all the time, and this time was no exception. I went... Oh no, where am I? Again, thank you so much. The connection orb started shining. Ah, we made a connection with Sylveon. Connected. The companions and Sylveon have been connected. She is now a companion. Oh, now we're connected to other ones. <laughs> Connections have spread even further. Uh, we don't even get an option. We get, we get thrust out of here. Fear my weather looplet. Oh, would you look at that? You saved Sylveon, did you? You did a fine job. And by the way, when you saved Sylveon, did you happen to notice anything curious about your connection orb, hmm? That might also require a bit of an explanation from me. 
Try selecting the connection orb icon on the lower screen. Allow me to replay what you saw in your connection orb when you saved Sylveon. Connected! And you are now connected! It has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? This is proof of the bond that now ties you to Sylveon. And by connecting to her... I like this music. <laughs> Connections have spread even further. You also become able to see her friends and acquaintances, just like so. I like to imagine that implies that this Sylveon is an acquaintance of Locke from G my GTI playthrough. And now that you can see the posts and requests of those Pokemon, your connections will continue to grow through their connections. The Connection Orb does so much more than show you Pokemon's posts. It allows you to see the very bonds that tie all Pokemon together. Whoa, it can even do something like that? Once you complete an expedition to fulfill some requests that you've accepted, the network that connects you to other Pokemon will grow larger and larger. I think I get it. And then I can take requests from those new Pokemon I've connected to. Precisely. I believe that you two can take it from here, can't you? Do your best on behalf of the Expedition Society. We will. Thanks again, Ampros. Neon, I think we learned all the tricks to uh, going on expeditions now. Let's do our best as Junior Expedition Society members. <laughs> this is very neat. You'll find the mons you help have more character than generic missions in other games. That's kind of nice. Any requests you've successfully completed will be removed from your list. That's nice. From Twitch chat, GTI and rescue team couples making fun of explorers and super teams for not having a home and living in a guild with their parents slash in a cave that he just took over. Well, to be fair, that cave is a very um, awesome cave. Did that just say uh, one out of 720? C connections or expeditions? The next morning, Neon went to school together with Gabriel as usual. After school let out, it is not a ding-a-dong. <laughs> from YouTube chat, Locke? Yep, my partner from my GTI playthrough. I named him Locke. See you. And I'm making that joke just because it was an Axew that was connected to a Vulpix that was connected to Sylveon. So Sylveon is friends with the Vulpix, and that Vulpix is friends with the Axew. And I'm making a joke that that Axew is actually Locke. We've already seen a ton of GTI characters as cameos just wandering about Serene Village. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Come on, Neon. Let's get going and do our best. But first, we have to glance around and make sure there's no hidden items anywhere. Like that. I've got a switcher wand. We can kill God with this. Are you enjoying your school life? Yep, same thing. No dropped items. Do 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 do. I do like that the characters actually acknowledge the scarves. Hikra! 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 You little Haluchamaniacs there! Listen up! I've been hearing the cheers of Haluchamaniacs yeah, from all across the world, oh yeah! The time has come for my slam schools to open! Hikra! Hikra! Whenever you want to remember a move, come to Halucha Slam School! Hikra! 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 It looks like there's a new shop open. He can inject memories into you. Let's check out the orb. Let us ponder our orb. But first things first. Do our normal diddly D. Put a few things away. So that we can gather more things. And as usual, first we sell our very valuable apples. I, f I just noticed he buys our apples for two pokey and then sells them at a ten times increase.
And even after buying all of this, we still come out with a profit. We're gonna be goddamn immortal at the end of all this. <laughs> I can just imagine he's just l looking at me. Gabriel is just like, why do, you, why do we need to be immortal? Well, you see, there's gonna be an evil god who's trying to kill us. That's what happens at all this time. Oh, hey, Dunsparce! I'd like to be a first-rate adventurer someday. I have a long way to go, but I'll do my best. Ah, oh, come on, Dunsparce. You already went to the the, the 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 glacial palace before it got destroyed. You're already a first-rate adventurer. What the fuck? Oh, ah, oh, an expedition there. I've heard that Pokemon who are having some problems sometimes go to the cafe. I can see that. After all, when you've got a problem, you just want to tell somebody else all about it, right? And hope they'll help you out. So I guess those Pokemon gather at the cafe hoping to find some kind of help. They drown their swords. Oh, hey! Why are you over here not eating with Dunsparce? All right, then. Guess we've got to give it our all again today. That's still kind of cool. Oh, that's an expedition gadget. It's so cool! Wait, why does it say Junior here? What's a Junior Expedition Gadget? Never heard of one of those. Can we talk, please? Tell me your woes, Azumarill. Neon had fun talking with Azumarill. Azumarill seems happy. We have forged a bond. It was really fun. Can we do this again? The connection orb started shining. Like Team Shining from my Rescue Team playthrough. Azumarill has been connected. So you have you heard the phrase, catch them all before? Now go help them all. Ah, huh. that's kind of neat. Yeah, so not all connections are expeditions at least. Hmm, interesting. So some of them are RNG. Wow, Azumarill had a lot of connections there. Oh, is that Lillipop? Oh. We're getting to talk to him. Oh, and? And by Azumarill's introduction. Oh, we got connected to Azurill. The companions in Azurill have been connected. And they expand even out more. Nope, just him. He has no friends. <laughs> Azurill has no friends. I heard the news, you know. So you're with the Expedition Society now, are you? Good luck with that. If that's the case, you'll be getting lots of rewards coming in here. I'm sure of it. We're always getting deliveries in here from Pokemon wanting to say thanks. So if you see a Pokemon wanting to reward you in your connection orb, then come straight here and I'm sure you'll find your reward waiting for you. Welcome to Cafe Connection. Looks like there are no rewards here for you today. Sorry. Do come again. That's neat. Ah, I see a congregation over here. Of children. I'm quite picky when it comes to the shape of my comb. Look at it! Cool, huh? Hey, what do you want to play today? Mm, let me think. Anything's fine with me. What do you want to play? <laughs> oh, hey, a Talon Flame. Don't get me too fired up. I'll produce fire from all over my body. Yeah, and you're the same thing. Why so fun, Zap? This is the ancient burrow. It's been sealed off from access for years and years now. So look, my little friends, uh, you don't want to open these doors and accidentally go inside, you hear me? Once you go in there, something really scary will happen. Well, why'd you tell that to Gabriel, Everbird buddy? You're lucky that this that wasn't a story thing. Gabriel would have immediately opened those doors. Like, immediately. Oh, this is... Oh, it's your home! It's Esper's home! Oh, you live here alone! That's depressing! <laughs> this is how neurodivergent friendships work. If you help me once or we have a good talk one time, I will register you in my connection or brain. <laughs> I give him five minutes. Gabriel will open the, that ancient burrow by the end of the stream, probably. Surprised to find me here? Well, this is my home. I live here on my own. Oh, that's depressing. Oh. <laughs> I have nothing to say. That's just depressing. A 
Let's see if we can talk to Terracosta. Yep, he's out there somewhere. Does Terracosta even know we've been in... Uh, uh, what's the word? Pulled into the... Fabadaba. The society. Hey, Terracosta, we joined the Freemasons! I do believe... Well, first things first, let's check our connection orb. You haven't been connected with this Pokemon yet, but we have met him. So interesting. So we can like check and see like ones. Oh, we have we haven't been connected, but we're like connected to their ability. Register as favorite. I wonder what that means. All right, interesting. But I wonder what these ones at the far reaches are. Oh! I can see on the other side of the orb? Oh, that's cool! I can see, just see on the other side of the orb. That is very, very cool. Kecleon, Kangaskhan. I just, I want to... Oh, it is also neat at the bottom of the top screen. Vulpix has a message for you. That is cool. Ursaring, Teddy Ursa, Lombre, Magby. If I remember correct <laughs> correctly, I forget. Like in the Magmar line, one is called Booby in Japanese, which is highly amusing. Esper, the Eternally Alone. Wooper, Simapore, Audino, Talonflame. I wonder who's all the way over here. Is it Watchhog? No, but it's a Star Raptor. But this is neat. Oh, and we can go super speed. Well, what did you lose, Vulpix? I lost something that means a lot to me. Find Vulpix's precious belonging in the Cave of Training. Except. Very cool. And here's Axew, but we haven't been connected yet. Or as I will call him, Locke. Because it has to be Locke. Now you can go to the Cave of Training. Now you can go to Uprise Range. Now you can go to Stone Field. We're gonna go to the Cave of Training so that we can help. <laughs> From Twitch chat, it is a sphere. Yeah, but it's just neat. That we can actually look and see. Like on the, like, actually see the other side when we're turning it. It's, just, it's a neat little detail. If you want to take another member too, tap the member selection. Once you select members, select Let's Go to go to the dungeon. Huh. And we can also select the deposit box from here. Interesting. The question is, do I care to bring anybody along with me? Because, like, that's the one thing that GTA... Because, like, with me, I have, a like, a hard time caring to bring other characters with me. Because I'm just like, eh, I prefer to just to have, like, the, like, story characters go with me. But that's why GTI worked so well, because so many of your party were, like, story characters. It's just neat. So instead of recruiting mons, you befriend them, which is kind of cool. Well, we just went on an adventure of Sylveon, so let's bring Sylveon along. Also, I think the game was forcing me to bring one along, because I think the Let's Go wasn't highlighted. Oh, yeah, because we need to actually have it in our, <laughs> in our actual possession. We shall give you an attack looplet. Give an item. Here you go. Attack Looplet for Sylveon. And let's go. Well, here they're at least characters in a way rather than just something you randomly find. That's true. When you embark on an expedition, you control the leader that you selected. If you want to change leader, tap L. Interesting. Another way to change the leader is to touch the name of a Pokemon on the lowest screen. The leader Pokemon will have a star. 
barrage mine. I'm gonna kill some motherfuckers. Ba, ba, ba. This is some nice music. It seems familiar. Maybe... Like, either this is a song that played... Like, in an earlier dungeon, or this was in GTI, because this feels very familiar. Yeah, no, it was a... It was a dungeon earlier in this game. Definitely. Because I recognize this kind of, like, bagpipe section. Oh, no, this is a Gates to Infinity song. I just, like, my me my memory was just going, Did, was this in GTI or was this here? <laughs> Because it just f felt very good, and that's a type bulldozer. You are going to give that to me, whoever you are. I'm going to find you. But this is still a good song. Oh, damn it. I wasted time. I, I missed it. No. The Emera. It's dead. This is Stump, uh, Stomp Stump Peak from GTI. Still very nice. But I, I, I kind of like that. That they're using GTI music and type bulldozer. Also for me, now I can utterly wreck shop. No matter who you are. My force palm is getting all of the barrage activations. We're gonna kill you, bird. Nope, nothing that way. Wait, I just realized something. Considering that, uh... What's her name? Esper is on the connection orb. That implies that I'll be able to go on an expedition with her if I... Like, I guess, unlock her companion quest. <laughs> Which, now that makes sense why Watchhog isn't on the connection orb. He would never go into a dungeon with us. He'd be like, go into a dungeon with Gabriel? Do you want me to die? Now, if type bulldozer and barrage, I'm gonna be a god in here. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Thing is, now realize you've also met Pokemon from past games like Hydreigon 2. Yep. Which is extra nice if we ever, like, fully connect to them. It'd kind of be like, hey! And that also means that if we run into. Like, evolutions that are at least, like, similar to the starters of previous games. It could almost be like, oh, hey, you're going on an adventure with this past legendary hero to a degree. Which, I don't, that's very cool. That's a very cool thing. Although that makes me wonder about Ludicolo. Or what, yeah, I think Ludicolo, no, it's like, whatever his name is, the evolution of Lotad that's in the village. Because now it makes me wonder, is that the same one from Rescue Team or is that a different one now? Makes me wonder. The connection orb reacted? What do you mean? What do you mean the connection orb reacted? What does that mean? What do you mean the connection orb reacted? What does that mean? We beat up a Pokemon so much that he got added to our friends list. Huh. 
<laughs> oh, from Twitch chat. Now nah, you're right, but it's incredibly funny. The orb, the transparency seen on the other side, got a louder reaction than Hydragon is the voice of life. <laughs> Such is the way of life, when you see the voice of life. Now come on, Gabriel, get rid of that stat down. Oh wait, there's another path. No meditation for you. Oh, haha, <laughs> damage has been nullified. Screw you and die. We burned him alive. I wonder if we're gonna run into Team Charm in here then. That would be kind of neat. Well, I guess it also makes double the sense since this was an anniversary game. I just realized the, the, the last Mystery Dungeon game that was like brand new when it came out and not a remake was an anniversary game. And uh, next year is also an anniversary year. Hopefully we'll get another anniversary game. Please. Oh, I forgot you had flame charge. You haven't had many opportunities to use it. Charge all you want. Force bomb. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Yeah, hence all the cameos everywhere and this focus on <laughs> gotta help them all. Which is a neat thing. Wand expert. Yeah, I'll just use you. I don't use wands. Kip ee Annihilated little man. You thought you dodged my first hit, but you weren't expecting the second hit. Super critical, definitely for me as well. Gabriel looking at me, he's like, why can't I get anything? Because I am the team leader and I am the most important. If I die, everything goes to hell. So she's like, oh, so you're willing to sacrifice me, huh? Only nominally. Also, that type, or not like, but that resistant thing basically did nothing. I don't really care about the train seeds because I'm just going to... What's a decoy seed? What? Eating it makes you infatuated. The seed will be targeted first in the bag by pluck, a sticky trap, or the like. Okay, I can understand, like, if this is meant to be like, hey, if you run into those annoying fuckers who steal from you a lot, like that baby vulture this will be taken first which is kind of nice but eating it makes you infatuated this game has roofies what I don't know it's just like it, it, it's just kind of interesting Well, looks like we have to go to war. I don't care about that. We have to go to war. <laughs> Murder happening in the store. <laughs> With just the calmest music. I don't even know what it is that... Because I guess they they dropped this. Oh, my bag is too full. That's why. Well, I guess we'll swap. Dang it. I want to look at you. I want to look at the shopkeeper. Sure. And now we leave. Ow, I got burned. And the, the, the tiles will not save me from my burn status.
And now we're back to the GTI music. Bum, bum. Ba, ba, ba. You are going to die. Oh, hey, Scraggy got added. I guess it could be because, like, he's a Pokemon that has, like, a relation to a Pokemon, excuse me, that actually showed up in previous games. So if you beat them down, like, the actual one will be added to it, which is kind of neat. Joining a fandom late is like one dead the one Deadpool scene where Deadpool wonders where everyone is. Kinda, yeah. He's just like, oh boy, this amazing this amazing thing, and you are alone. Something will happen if you click Gabriel's name on the lower screen. Yep, we'll control Gabriel. And it makes them infatuated if they eat it via pluck too. Ah, interesting. Are those buffs permanent? Uh, if you're talking about the Emera buffs, no. The Emerald buffs are only for this expedition. I guess I'll set that guard boost too. Since I'm the one that's getting utterly annihilated sometimes. I am the tank. If only I was steel type. Which even then, that would only kind of... I guess I'll eat this to... Well, actually, we're on the final diddly D, so we should actually see if there's anything we want to swap. Like Sea Trap Orb, I'm never going to use you. But Orin Berry's good to stock up on. But yeah, Emeras, when you use them, those buffs will uh, are only for the adventure. So that if you find an Emera you don't want to actually place into your diddly D, it's still use useful to you. Charge all you want, you'll still die. <gasps> Some of the large rooms are used as monster houses. Oh no. The fear. How dare you leer at me. Force palm. Get to kill it. <laughs> Not very effective. Instantly dies. <laughs> it's like if a rock type just stepped under into, into the rain. A single droplet. They just disappear. Switching who you're playing as can be handy to save apples, given they all have individual belly meters that don't go down if you're not playing as them. Huh. Interesting. So if I ever, like, start to run low on apples during an adventure, I can then definitely min-max my apple usage. Huh. That's kind of cool. And speaking of apples... Because, like, there's not much point to min-maxing my apple usage just yet. I have a bunch of apples. I really have been min-maxing my apple inventory for a while now. Found Vulpix's treasure. You know, it's a good thing that my mindset is forever stuck on, hey, I should clear the entire floor. I forgot I was looking for that. I forgot I was looking for that. We are now friends with Vulpix. Oh, that's cool, Dedene. That's almost funny. Akshu is connected to the giant, scary, I forget his name, dragon type that was hunting us down in GTI. You know, after he stopped trying to kill us, it was kind of nice meeting up with another dragon. Looks like you've earned a reward. Go pick it up from Kangaskhan in the cafe. Oh, cutscene time. Morning, Neon. You up and moving yet? Borrow a moment of your time, if you don't mind. Fact is, see, I'm gonna have to leave you here on your own again for a bit. I'm mighty sorry about it, but something cropped up that I just can't ignore. So uh, could I count on you to watch over the house while I'm away again? Just for a day. I'm beginning to wonder what you're doing, because this is the second time, like you said. And last time, I think it was for multiple days. 
So, what, what do you even have a job? What do you and your nipples do, Mr. Nuzleaf? I figured you're pretty used to the life here now, Neon, and you'll be all right. That's so? That's a load off my mind, sure enough. Then I'll be heading out now. Sorry, and I do thank you. If you need help, just holler at Caracosta next door. I'll tell them so before I go. Oh, and be on the lookout for them Behem as well. And then I'll be off. Ominous! <laughs> In the words of First Form Imperfect Cell, Ominous! Pro tip, have you been to Plipper Island? On Plipper Island, you can help Pokemon that have fainted in dungeons. You can get to Plipper Island from the main menu. Go there when you've fainted in a dungeon. And we save. And we've updated to four out of 720 species. Neon, good morning! Ever the early riser, Gabriel? Morning, Neon! Let's go to school! Race you there! That's not racing speed! Huh? You're watching the house on your own again today? I see. I did see Nuzleaf come by to talk to my old pops this morning, so that's why. Oh, in that case, you should totally come over to our place tonight! My old pops may be stubborn as an onyx, but boy does he know how to cook. You've got to come. Our house, Nuzleaf's house is going to get broken into tonight, isn't it? The Behem are going to come for my ass tonight. Exactly. Well, that'll be fun. If, I, uh, if I'm wrong, then that's at least how it functions in all of the switching teammates for Belly. Because it does in Rescue Team DX. Could be wrong about working in Super. We'll have to test that. I just realized my PMD character doesn't have a parent. What do you mean you have a dad? Yeah, because like I said, I think that the Super protagonist is the only Pokemon Mystery Dungeon character to have a parental figure. Technically, there's Chatot to a degree, but he only kind of fills that role for Manaphy more than anything else. With this game, even if you forget about a mission, if you try and use the stairs, the game will give you a warning about it. That's nice. <laughs> All right. So, sleepover time. And after school ended that day. All right, compadres. Let's get out of here. He's leaving early. Bye-bye, Neon. Bye, Gabriel. See you later. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Come on, Neon, let's try to fit in another expedition today before dinner. Let's check out the orb. Connection orb. Oh no. Locke, what is going on with you? I can't stand that rough one. <laughs> oh, I guess the connection orb isn't just for, like, friends. <laughs> Because that Salamence, I guess, decided to beat up Locke. Poor Locke. Getting beaten up in a four-floor dungeon. Well, let's accept. And as always, we'll look in all the tents, looking for hidden treasure. <laughs> Ta -da. Hey, what are you doing here, Watchhog? Ha ha ha, now's my chance. Well, the principal isn't here. <clears throat> it is I, the principal of this school. I'm a terribly important Pokemon around here, don't you know? For what purpose could you possibly interrupt such an important busy po- No! Oh! What did you- Don't just sneak up on someone like that. Say something if you're standing there. You are a weird little man, Watchhog. We had a meeting set for this afternoon, but there's no sign of the vice principal anywhere. Now, where is the vice principal? Being a weirdo. <laughs> Go find a Sylveon in a forest. Go find a present. Go fight a pseudo-legendary. You know, simple stuff. Nothing is simple in this world. Hey, Simapore. Have a good afternoon, Neon, Gabriel. Take care on your way home. That we will. We won't be am ambushed by Behem any day. 
any day soon. First, we're going to sell our pristine apples for loads of money. We're going to become rich by selling apples that we foraged. And always stock up on reviver seeds and apples so that we can become gods. What's the Junior Expedition Society? Gabriel, you always did want to join the Expedition Society, right? And nobody knows our secret. Oh, that's cool! They're, uh, they're blue. I guess maybe because they're actually, like, uh, can, like, they're not connected, but they're visible on the orb, maybe? I don't feel like doing anything. My leaf feels heavy. I'll float in the water instead. I can't let evildoers slide, hmm? I'll do my best. I'm pumped! Here I am again. I just can't resist the delicious drinks here. I was almost expecting his horrific <laughs> jump scare face. Welcome to the Cafe Connection. Oh, hey, we got a TM. Get all the rewards. Here you are. All yours. Do come again. I do wish that there, we still had, like, gummies to turn into juice to drink at. Mama Kangaskhan's. That would just be neat. Oh, hey! Hey, Alakazam! We haven't seen you forever! If you desire my power, I'll help as much as I can. Don't you two seem busy. What are you up to now? Did you find some fun new game to play or something? Let me tell you about my world travels. Travel can bring trouble, but I won't duck. You're flying now, because... Ducklet used to just walk everywhere in GTI. Oh, just the same thing. Don't give me diddly deed. The grown-ups say that we kids can't go in there no matter what. It seems real scary. Don't worry. Gabriel will go in there someday. <laughs> How bad can I be? <laughs> the original Tumblr Sexy Man song. You'll probably need more than two, uh, four Reviver Seeds and two Blast Seeds for the fight. It is a bit stupid on the difficulty. Hmm. I know I have a decent few Reviver Seeds. But I guess I'll bring more Blast Seeds just in case. I've been forgetting about them because we haven't been in a boss fight yet. So hello, Gabriel. This is where I sleep. <laughs> With the rocks. We should steal Caracosta's mail. Commit a federal crime. I like the like the the town music though. It's nice. Ooh. I want to be a stone carver someday. Like just like me, Da. Ah, uh, you sure do know how to make your old Da feel special, Radada. And somebody's out here. Oh, it's Ampharos. This presence, it can only be. Ta da! It's Ampharos! Mm, yes, the view from this lake here is indeed beautiful beyond words. I cannot help but be captivated by it. <laughs> I found a warp wand. We can warp Ampharos away into the water so he'll drown. Ba, 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 ba. I guess we'll take, see how many, like, uh, we have a few blast seeds. I guess we'll take two more in case the Salamence decides to put up a big old fight. Yep, because we have to battle alongside Axew. Let's go! Or as I call him, Lock. See, because the third place is locked. Oh, the window of a team member has a shutter across it. That means the member is taking a break. 
Some Pokemon may have matters they need to take care of. For this expedition, pick a different member. I'll introduce a new function, Preset Teams. You can preset your favorite Pokemon as a member of up to five separate teams. If you preset various teams, you'll be ready for an unexpected absence of a Pokemon. Now select either L or R to select a team. That's pretty cool. Now use member selection to select members. Of course me. Of course Gabriel. And... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Because this is just dragon type, right? I forget what the uh, Salamence is. Yep, Salamence was one of the last bosses of GTI. Yep, indeed he was. He just kind of blends in with the entirety of uh, Muna's gang for me, or Muna's gang, or however you pronounce it. I guess we'll bring Azumarill around. He can be the tank. All right. Oh, and it's extra cool. The held items persist across teams. That's cool. Let's -a go! And yeah, this is something that's divisive about the game. The mons are basically doing you a favor, uh, not part of the same team or obligation, which means they can be busy and not available to use. I don't mind that, considering that there's like... Considering that you don't have to really recruit Pokemon, I don't mind it that much that, like, uh, overall some Pokemon can just randomly be unavailable. I don't mind it too much. Then again, I'm also the guy that doesn't really care too, too much about having a third party member usually, and I'm fine with just my main team of the story people, so it just could be me. <laughs> Big news! Everyone who's connected by the mysterious power of the expedition badges can share experience points gained in a dungeon. The client acts you is with you, or as I call him, the boy, Locke. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my beat people up thing. We are ready for murder! This is some nice music. Although now I'm eternally always going to be like, is this a new song or is this a GTI song? <laughs> always going to be at the back of my mind now. Ducklet, you betrayer! Bugman, die! Football... It's still a very good song. It also kind of feels familiar, this whistle part. I can't believe it. We're gonna kill uh, Vice Principal Watchhog's <laughs> nephew, I guess. <laughs> I like it, but some people like to min-max. Troop. I think it depends on the game for me, because sometimes I want to min-max a lot, other times, like, it doesn't bother me that much. It depends game to game. Then again, I'm the type of person that doesn't really mind the gameplay in a Mystery Dungeon game too much. I'm just here for the story and vibes most of the time. The better they make the game, that's still great, but I'm just here for the story for the most part. How does defog lower our evasion? There was no fog here. You fool. Get psi-beamed. And water-gunned. Huh, clutch performance. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. Because uh, I'm gonna try and not be low on health. How dare you die? Probably should have used that stat restoration pad back in that one room. Like here. There we go. Now we're all back to normal.
<laughs> we beat you up. Now get in our connection orb. <laughs> Still such a funny thing. From YouTube chat, the higher the player and partner's levels compared to a Pokemon, the less likely and the shorter they will be on break. Hmm, interesting. This is a super song, cool. And basically just the game's mechanic to stop you spamming an overleveled Mon to make things trivial, which I think is very fair. It makes sense. Especially because, again, they are just giving you allies for free. You don't have to recruit them, really. At least compared to other ones. You don't really have to worry about recruitment right in here. And do I care about a paralysis guard? We're going to beat you to death, Ducklet, for all your sins. I mean, I guess I have plenty of Emerus slots. On the offhand chance anything can paralyze me. Better to not. Beat up this cat. The Pokemon flinched is and unable to use a move on its turn. Wait it out for one turn, switch with a teammate, or use an item to recover. Who in the world would ever want to, like, recover from flinch? Die. Haha, <laughs> get paralyzed. If only you had my Emera. You definitely want it, don't you? Well, too bad. You can't have it. It is mine. My Emera, not yours. Now I'm imagining, like, a golo, like a golem... Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon situation where somebody, like, gets attached to an Emera and will never leave the dungeon because they don't want to lose it. This is my Emera. This is my precious. No, it's not yours. It's ours. Well, that's not very a golem voice. It's more of a stitch voice. Emera means precious. Precious means man. On the next floor, using rescue or an escape orb won't help you. Be sure you're well prepared. I think I'm prepared. Rescue is not available, so be careful. <laughs> I just like to imagine Sylveon being like, I need to go apple shopping today, sorry. Oh hey, it's the outlaw music. Well, I guess uh, I brought these uh, blast seeds for a reason. So, uh. Boo! Haha, <laughs> you got burnt! Jesus. Well, that's mean. Well, that's extra mean game. And that was with its, like, attack being. halved. All right, then fine. Blast seeds for days, apparently. Yeah, why is this the next mission they throw at the player? When this is just a guy that can one-shot you? I thought, like, Axew, it made a little bit of sense because it was like a type advantage. Because dragon against dragon, but Jesus. Why are you here, big man? I should have brought more. And now I'm out of blast seeds. I thought I'll... Why do you have over 400 HP, you bastard? That's a bit insane, if you ask me. That's a bit insane, game. 
To have an enemy with over 400 HP at this point in the game that can one-shot you? Jesus. And add on the fact he had burn applied. He was doing less damage than he would otherwise. I won't thrash about anymore, so forgive me. I'll be your friend too. Uh, thank you for teaching Salamence a good lesson. He seems sorry for what he did. You're totally luck now. That is your name. If only I could name these guys. That would be kind of funny. Ah, the circle of friends has expanded even farther. Yes, please. Let's get out of here. That Salamence was harder than the final boss of GTI. He just, like, decided, and now we are here to murder you. For no reason. Oh, cutscene time, cutscene time. Oh, yeah, because sleepover. So good! Mr. Nuzleaf doesn't have a table like this. Mr. Nuzleaf basically has nothing. <laughs> but think of it this way. He's now connected. Eh, if it's anything like past Mystery Dungeon games, his HP is probably a quarter of what it is, and so are his damage. <laughs> Man, Pops, your food really is the best. No one can top it. Can't you eat with a bit more decorum? But you are wrong, child. <laughs> oh, no, you sure aren't. Do you find it to your liking, Neon? Of course, it's very nice looking. Do you now? Then eat your fill, go on. I like that, it's just like... You're being rude, Gabriel, but at the same time, you're not incorrect. And so Neon thoroughly enjoyed the meal and the company. Nuzleaf's house is totally going to be invaded by the Behem. Totally. And ended up staying the night at Caracosta's home. The next morning, Gabriel and Neon headed to school again. And after school... I guess not. Totally was expecting something to happen. Phew, I thought today would never end. It's a real drag lately, huh? And it's been so crazy hot all the time. Yeah, when it gets this hot, I feel feverish and my brain gets flunky. Your brain gets flunky, huh? More like you're kind of flaky, Gabriel. Gabriel, I don't think that's the word choice you were going for. Whatever, I'll keep it short. You bug me. Stay at least one space away from me at all times. Or more. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Watchhog, we beat up a Salamence. With the power of drugs. <laughs> well, let's all do our best to survive the heat anyway. It'll be summer vacation pretty soon. Shall we be heading home? Yeah, see you all tomorrow. Sure, bye-bye. And nobody's noticed that we've gone on these expeditions, I think. It's kind of funny. About time we head out too, huh? Another big day as Junior Expedition Society members. Let's check out the orb. Let us ponder the orb. Oh, hey, right, you can't find his zap, I guess. We must find the precious belonging. Come find it with me, zap. First things first, search for items. Let's see, have anything to say? Because I don't think you've been here before. All right, time for a bit of housekeeping. I'm going to get this place all in order. Ah, the smiling faces of children are the brightest thing in this world. Just looking at you young Pokemon fills me with energy to keep going. I like the music in this game. I've been quite pleased lately, you know. After all, Gabriel has finally been taking lessons a bit more seriously. I can't believe he said that, like, both 
to his face and not to his face. Be sure that you don't cause any problems while in the village. Understand? If you understand, I expect a response! Well, too bad. You don't get a response. What? You have a connection orb? That's so cool. I already said that. Oh, I know. I thought... Oh, because he said it was so cool for the gadget. It lets you go on adventures of other Pokemon once you're connected, right? I'd heard that some of the Pokemon you might connect with could be busy. They may not always be able to come and help you on adventures. Is that true? Indeed. I don't mind that too much. I forget if, like, the plane seats have a use in this game. I'll definitely have to gather up uh, more Reviver Seeds from there. Healing Looplet? Nah, I don't think so. But I guess we'll take more of that. We need... <laughs> when it, whenever we go to hunt down an outlaw, we need to bring a ton of Reviver and Blast Seeds. Definitely. I keep forgetting that it's default to no. At least we have a lot of Reviver Seeds. And we'll take uh, one extra Blast Seed for unforeseen dangers. I am perfectly comfortable being on my own, but I suppose that spending time with Deerling is also enjoyable. Why, do you think it's odd for me to be hanging out with Vesper? Sometimes we girls have to have our own time, you know. Hey, I'm Mr. Mime. Hi, how are you go doing today? Hey, if it's not the village children, I was about to head off to the nearby cafe for a spot of relaxation. Huh, the cafe isn't this way, you say? My, 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 silly me, I never do learn. I'll toddle off then. Probably in the wrong direction. Hey, Ralts. I put my heart into it. We can only assume that you do. And this is also why having a third team member is borderline mandatory. Play nicely, children. It's my turn next, but no one is listening. You're wrong! It's my turn! No, it's my turn. They are not playing nicely at all. Quick, we must do this the Pokemon way and beat them all up. That's, that's kind of sad. It's almost like Pancham put a stay away wand in Gabriel's room. To insult him. And Gabriel will never even know. And of course, we will check out the cafe. Mm, these drinks are the best. I forgot your voice. My cheeks and tail go zap! You wanted to tell me that you enjoyed the dinner last night, and you wanted to thank me for that treat. <laughs> well, sure, sure, my child. Do come and eat with us again any time. You're always welcome. How nice. I do not want to be infected by you, no. Hey, hey, where's my guild master? We haven't seen him. Not yet, anyway. I'm sure we'll run into him someday. He'll see the perfect apple in our inventory and kill us to get it. Probably. And we'll withdraw one Orinberry. So that we have two heals. Uh, now we'll go and explore with Raichu in Stonefield. Especially because it only takes us to the second floor. Come on, Sylveon. Let's go on an adventure. The client Raichu is with you. Got here just in time for Paralysis Guard. Not my favorite, but we have enough places to 
slot it in without worry. I like this song. Leave me alone. Leer all you want, you shall still die! <laughs> Force Palm has been upgraded. Uh, you take over. How about you both take over? Things are bad. Somebody stole an apple. All the apples of this world are mine. All of them. You almost died there, Gabriel. God damn it. How about why is a trap here? Who even put this here? It is illegal to put traps in dungeons, don't you know? Get obliterated. I just love the music in these games. They're always just so nice. Flinch again, idiot. Get flinched forever. And technically, we went the right path, because now the mandatory way should be this way. Quit a blasting me. I bite you. And you flinch. And then just get utterly annihilated by Raichu. That's always cool. <laughs> Raichu decides, you know what? <laughs> I'll kill this one for you. Then the power of the gods just fell from on high. Well, that's just very mean. You cease that right now, Drowsy. In the puppet of the puppet status... The Pokemon will randomly use a mover item. The states will go away on the next turn. Well, that's just mean. That is a mean status effect. You've arrived at the floor where Raichu's treasure is located. Have Raichu stand next to the treasure and then press A to check it. Luckily, we don't need to worry about the Emeras, because we're on the floor we need to be. Haha, <laughs> your rage means nothing. Die. Hello, Flaffy. Prepare to die. How dare you. I think that's the first Chesto Berry we've gotten. Well, now that's just very mean. Die. Alright, that did a lot of damage. How dare. Die. A level up for the boy! Yes, come to us for annihilation. Come fight us. Well, fine, we'll come fight you. We have a lot of health for a Ponyta. Again, the way that Ponyta just fades away is always mildly disturbing. It's like it just disintegrates in front of you. We are here to murder you. What a way to go. Now, nobody better be picking up Raichu's 
you like special present, it's very important to him. There you go, Raichu. It is yours again, Zap. Thanks, Zap. And now you are our friend forever. <laughs> and he only knows <laughs> luck and that Ralts. Honestly, kind of need expanding hypnosis to being about control and suggestion rather than just sleep. You know what? That is actually kind of cool. <laughs> it's just that I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> it's just so surprising. Oh, hey, cutscene time. Okay, Neon, see you later. Is Nuzleaf here or is he still gone? Hey, Nuzleaf. Ah, it's Nuzleaf. Oh, and you're back as well. Sorry again for leaving you in the lurch like that, friend. I know it ain't no compensation, but I did bring back some good eats from my trip. Why don't we share them for dinner tonight? For dinner, in that case... What's that? You were treated to dinner last night by old Karakosta next door? And you reckon we should invite him and Gabriel over for dinner with us? Well, that's a fine idea. Of course we'll have him over with us tonight. We don't even have a table! And so that night, Gabriel and Karakosta enjoyed a fine meal at Nuzleaf's house. I wonder what the fine eats even were. Pokemon fast food? I still want to know, because, like, I don't know. There's just something about Nuzleaf that isn't clicking for, with, with me. Because with me. we meet him at first, and he's just confused. He's very terrified of the Behiim. He helps us through the dungeons and guides us. But at the same time, he's kind of annoyed and angry at us for drawing him into the trouble. But at the same time, can't bring himself to leave us behind. and basically adopts us. And yet... Like, this is the third time that he has left the village for days at a time. Because he was very, very far away from Serene Village when he found us. Then, not too long after we got to Serene Village, he left again. And left us alone. Like, I think on the day that we met Gabriel, too. And then... Just now, he left again for a day. So I kind of, I wonder what he's doing. Like, what business does he have you know, going off somewhere doing stuff? The next morning, Gabriel and Neon went to school as usual. And after school... And so the school will be closed for summer vacation beginning today. I hope you all enjoy your summer vacation, but try to keep it within reason. Class dismissed. We are free. All right. Finally. This summer's going to be so much fun. I know, right? It's thrilling. It's exciting. It's summer vacation. <laughs> summer vacation, chapter seven. Neon, it's summer vacation. We won't have to come to school for a while and we'll have tons of time to play. But we still got our tasks as Junior Expedition Society members to do. So we've got to do, be sure to keep carrying out our expeditions. So in short, Neon, I can count on your help on expeditions during the summer break too, right? <laughs> All right, thanks, pal. And let's get started right now. Huh? Isn't that Amphros over there? Hey, Ampharos! I wondered who could be yelling for me. Well, if it isn't the village children again. How did things end up going? Have your expeditions been successful? Yeah, we've been really giving it our all. And we're making new connections all the time, little by little. <laughs> Indeed. Well, that's what I like to hear. Are you headed out somewhere, Ampharos? Quite so. I'm thinking it's about time I say farewell to this little village. What? Y you're leaving? Yes, I am. This is a very lovely place, and while I hate to say goodbye so soon, after all, I am the Dashing Wanderer! And so, wander I must. Right. But I trust the two of you to keep working hard on behalf of the Expedition Society. 
It may be tough at times, since you are still just children. But if you keep on working at it, I think that you'll discover something wonderful. We'll sure try. Thanks, Ampharos. You take care out there, too. I will. Best of luck to you both. Until we meet again! That's not the way out, you know. Oh, silly me. My, 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 my. I am just hopeless. Then farewell! How does he go anywhere? How does he go anywhere at all? Yeah. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. As I say, summer heat's coming on. Don't want to die. <laughs> to be fair, he knows you're probably not quite a child thanks to your human life, and he wasn't expecting to have an adopted child until it happened a few weeks ago. He probably has plans <laughs> that he made that couldn't be canceled. That's true. But at the same time, I think Nuzleaf is the first one to assume that we're young. And it's basically only been me going just like, but what if the human wasn't a child when we got here? Because I think even the, there's, like I said, I think in the first stream, there's been a few lines of dialogue from the protagonist, the hero, that could be interpreted as, like, they were, like, older as a human, but got stuck in either a young appearing or just young Pokemon body. So, like, who knows? But at the same time, they don't want to, like, cut off the possibility that an actual young child is going to play this game and wants to imprint themselves upon the uh, the protagonist. So it's kind of a weird line they have to walk with, like, enough plausibility that it could be an older human and some, uh, like, general plausibility that it's probably a young human. It's just a weird thing. But I don't think Nuzleaf expects that. I think it's mostly just that... Nuzleaf, yeah, wasn't expecting to deal with a child and doesn't quite know how to be a parent. But at the same time, Serene Village is very safe. But at the same, same time, I'm being hunted by Behem. So I don't know. <laughs> I think I'll miss him, but I guess everyone has to move on sometime. For now, we should just do what we can. What we do. I thought there was going to be more. For now, we should just do what we can. So let's go tackle another expedition. Ba 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 I so do like having an expanded inventory. We'll deposit one apple, we'll sell this apple, and presumably buy another apple. First, let's see, what do you have to sell? I definitely buy more reviver seeds. <laughs> We need to stock up. Because this game is basically saying, hey, we're going to annihilate you. No mercy. Ba, 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 ba. I'm planning to cram all the fun I can into this summer vacation. What should we play today? Nuclear bomb. So you guys are off school starting today? Sounds nice. I remember summer vacations. Boy, they were the best. He says with a face that is dead inside. There go the cotton spores. I can't believe he's trying to kill me. I will have the drink and jump for joy. Shh, you can hear lots of things if you stay quiet. I'm always full of smiles. What happened to your recycle shop? Do you think there are a lot of Pokemon out there with problems? Uh-huh, me? Well, sure, I've got some problems I'm wrestling with. One or two, at least. Huh? Maybe not after all? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? It almost sounds ominous. What should we play during summer break? You don't even have school. I want to go play in the water. Let's carve rocks. <laughs> They're like, you want to bash your head against some rocks? 
Oh, summer break has started, I see. Don't you go running too wild just because you're out of school, though. You certainly shouldn't do anything like going into this ancient barrow here. You got that? <laughs> you can't tell me what to do, explodes. Do I have a lot of things I'd like to do during the summer break? Perhaps reading or hiking in the mountains. I don't understand you. Esper is just... I can't get a read on Esper. Do -do 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 -do. And Nuzleaf is also always missing during the day, too. But let's check that connection orb. Ralts has a mission. I lost this thing that means a lot to me. Well, to the stone field we'll be going. We will find the precious thing and kill everyone in our path. <laughs> You can now go to the odd field, but where's the even field? Pee Wee Meadow. Well, right, we're gonna go to the stone field. For the boy! Come along. We're gonna go and murder some people. <laughs> you don't read Esper, she reads you. <laughs> well, got me there. You shall die. How dare you survive? That is against the law. I need to increase my speed. What the hell? Well, I guess this is a stone field, but... Huh. Just seeing the little golem guy. <laughs> like, I don't know. He's a silly little golem guy. Flinch again, why don't you? Ha-ha! <laughs> I am the god of the flinch! Two for flinching. Time for you to die. You know, I need to actually look at the rooms I'm entering more so that I don't risk losing, like, Emeras. <laughs> well, that's just mean. How dare you have an AoE move? Last time I thought I had an AoE move, it wasn't. I miss my Zorua's Dark Pulse. Hey, you leave Gabriel alone as we fight you from afar. The very far away combat. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Lotad. They're coming for you, Barbara. I guess I'll punch ya. Let him get in closer. And then we'll annihilate him one by one. Yeah, charge all you want, you're very far away. Oh, darn. He used charge, and then he's just not using any electrical attacks. I'm gonna power up my electrical attacks, and then I will only use quick attack. I am very intelligent. How dare you astonish me. I need pictures of astonishing Spider-Man. I wouldn't be surprised if that actually was one of the adjective... <laughs> Spider-Man. There's been lots of word Spider-Man out there. I don't care about you, Crab Man. Ah, uh, Gabriel's gonna die. I just needed this Emera. They're rare and precious. We have sort of reviver seeds in bulk. 
still can Although I do just realize it's kind of disturbing in a way that reviver seats have to be kind of sort of administered after fainting. <laughs> compared to the other games where they're just instant. So it's almost like you have to actually supply it to the fainted party member. Like seed-induced defibrillation. I said that weird. <laughs> you traded my life for a tiny gem that makes you not die? <laughs> Come on, Gabriel. We have tons of tiny reviver seeds. Oh, this Emera, this Emera, it only exists for the ex for the extension of this whole extension, for the duration of this whole dungeon. That makes it very special. You wouldn't want to make this Emera feel not special, would you? Well, that's just me. If Sylveon just stayed back, we would have been able to beat this man to death from afar. Hello, Gloom. No poisoning powder for you. What? <laughs> Is it just a, a, a motherfucker doing that? All right, Sylveon. Like, if Sylveon would have actually gone in further, like, but this is gonna be dangerous. This is gonna just be an asshole attacking us from a distance like that. At least it's a thing that requires, like, actual setup, but still. Don't use. But still, it's kind of annoying there. <laughs> they just like was pseudo spamming it at us. I am going to become the impenetrable wall. Why did I take that hit? I am the tough man. Oh, I guess I am the tough man. I meant to take the hit. Do -do 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 -do. I guess I'll become trap proof. That's nice. And I guess I'll set enemies to sleep. Ow. I shall punch you. Oh, that just has no effect. I guess you're a ghost? I thought I was like, oh, you're a rock. I could hit you. Apparently not. I assumed that's almost going to be the death of me. Go ahead and raise our health, and let's just get a move on. Oh, wait. Ah, I like that that's actually a warning. The Razor Wind guy just completely distracted me from my main mission. Death does do that to you. Kind of hard to pay attention with all the death around you. We have come to murder you. <laughs> it woke up. I hit it. It falls back asleep. It's like, no, no, no. We're here to kill you in your sleep. Go back to bed. In universe, that's probably a horrifying ability for someone to have, to just set, you, just put you to sleep against your will, as a natural thing they do. Routes' treasure. And now we are super connected.
Huzzah. Yeah, let's get out of here. This is a nightmare world of razor winds. Stonefield is a scary place. Ah, we've earned a reward. The next morning. Would you like to save your adventure? Huh. Odd, I think that usually it asks me, asks me to save before we wake up. Huh. I reckon you should be careful out there again today. Ominous! Good morning, Neon! Let's do our best out there today. I like that, like, all of the partners say something like that. Let's do our best. Let's give it our all. Don't you children go off too far on your adventures and stay away from any place strange. Don't worry. We're going to go to the Haunted Barrow eventually. It's just inevitable. I am inevitable. Breakfast is nearly ready. Just give me another minute here. You've got to start your day off right. Ain't that the, the ultimate theory? I do find it kind of interesting that, like... Huh. There's nobody in the village. Until we activate a cutscene, I guess? Oh, yeah, because it's summer. I forgot. I and here I thought we were going to go to school. Gah! Hey, Benjamin Shillman! Ah, uh, keep back! Oh, come on, don't be like that. Ain't you enjoying the summer break so far? Of course, we're living it up. Man, summer vacation really is the best. Oh, by the way, Gabriel, you guys heard the rumors about the school at night, right? The school at night? Uh, I haven't heard anything. What kind of rumors? Well, they say that ghosts appear at the school at night. Is nobody here a ghost type? Nobody? Nobody at all? <laughs> Frankly, I'm starting to think the only reason Gabriel hasn't broken the doors to it down is because he already has the barrel completely mapped years ago without anyone knowing. <laughs> that would be funny. It's like, remember, never go in there. And then inevitably, when we have to go in there for one story reason, Gabriel just stays silent. It's like, oh, we should go this way. And at the very end, they're like, hey, Gabriel, how'd you know to navigate that place? Oh, I already know it by heart. That would be funny. What? G g g ghosts Yeah, I don't know where it all started from, but that's the rumor that's going around now. They say a voice comes from somewhere in the classroom with a wail of, It's so hot! And when you turn around, there are these eerie blue flames and... BOO! Yuck! I think you gave him a heart attack. Gabriel! Well, they're never going to let you live that down. A whole cutscene? Huh? Where am I? Don't you remember? You just, like, suddenly passed out. Boo! Yeah! Wow, news to me. I never knew you were such a wimp about these things. Yeah. I'm really bad with those kinds of scary stories. Oh, even when those ghosts could even show up at your own house tonight? Ah! <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious! I can't believe I found your weak point! You really are a total wimp. Try not to get attacked by any ghosts! I should have punched him. Start a schoolyard brawl right here in the middle of town. Uh, I really can't handle ghost stories. Oh, that was no way to start the morning. But if I want to get my mind off it... I'm not really motivated to go on any expeditions today. Sorry, Neon. Maybe tomorrow, okay? It would have been interesting if they, like, let you go on an expedition without him. But at the same time, that would have also kind of hurt in a way. That night. Ominous! I wonder what's going on. <laughs> if it's going to hit Watchhog. Uh, why should I have to do the rounds of this school? Surely this is a task below the station of a vice principal like myself. 
The principal seems to take the ghost stories seriously, though. I wish he would just give us a break, honestly. I mean, not that I believe that there are actually ghosts. Of course not. Such rumors are obviously lies that only fools would believe. That's it. I'll just call it a good enough and go to the village cafe. Maybe I'll still be in time for a daily discount. What's a daily discount? Hot. Huh? Was that a voice just now? So, so hot. It seems to be coming from outside. Who could it be? Huh? There's no one here. Ominous music? It's so hot. So hot. And now, Principal Watchhog is dead, and that's why he's not in the con connection sphere. The next morning. I don't know why, but the, the so hot f does like, feels like a weird thing for a ghost to say. I reckon you should be careful. Good morning, Neon. Let's do our best out there today. Well, first, I guess we should check out Caracosta's house for any shinies. There are no shinies. I'm the shiny hunter. <laughs> Except I only hunt shiny items that are on the floor. Good morning, Neon. Good morning, Gabriel. I'm going to play at home today. I like how the village changes up, like, every single day. It's just very cool. Ah, is it because... Oh, for a moment I thought, like, oh, there was no, like, dots on the map again. But there are a few in the middle of the plaza. So I was wondering if, like, days where I wake up and then save are cutscene days. But let's see. What could have happened? I don't really know. I suppose it's just a lack of sleep, don't you think? Oh, here's Gabriel and Neon. What timing? Have you kids heard about Watchhog? You mean the vice principal? What about him? Apparently he was found unconscious at the school this morning. What? He says he was doing rounds for the school last night and doesn't remember a thing. Apparently he saw something so frightful that he fainted. Uh, f frightful? You think so? I don't know. It is Watchhog we're talking about. Maybe he's just so embarrassed to admit that he fell asleep on the job. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter what that much anyway. Well, at least they're not super afraid, so we can do an expedition today. I quite like the vice principal. I hope I'll be able to go to school soon. Oh, you're... You're younger than Gabriel? Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Ah, oh, person looplet. Prevents the holder from getting confused. Neat. Well, I guess we'll... Well, I guess we don't need to buy that many orin berries. Do we have any pristine apples to sell? We have one pristine apple to sell. I keep forgetting that it's just like automatically on no every single time. I just keep forgetting it every single time. Do 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 do. go. That gives us decent room. Yep, peekaboo. That's what I do. Your cheeks and tails zap. My tusks grow back stronger every time they break off. That's why I chew a lot when I eat. Man, I really want to evolve. But if you evolve, you'll also just be like me, you know? Personally, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Is this Ursaring? I hit my mic and it went flying. Well, that makes me think. Does this make, like, is this Ursarang actually, like, because in Explorers, there was a Teddy Ursa and an Ursarang. 
and then Teddy Ursa evolved and they both were Ursaring and you couldn't tell them apart all that well. So is this that Teddy Ursa that evolved and it's just like, no, oh, you'll just be <laughs> mistaken for me. Get all awards. This is our second attract TM. I wonder if we can go to the school. Ba 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 ba. The vice principal is doing just fine. He's resting at his home now. Oh, did you come because you were concerned about the vice principal? Thank you. What nice children you are. I'm sure the vice principal will be delighted to know you stopped by. Really, though? What in the world actually happened to the vice principal? Murder, maybe. <laughs> we found another Ornberry. Ha <laughs> ha. I stole this Orenberry from the school. They'll never know. This Orenberry. I'll steal it! No one will ever know! Hey, Pet Lil. I want to see Dragonite, but getting there alone is too hard. On uh, the second floor of Stonefield again, eh? Let's -a go. To the stone field. Come along, Sylveon. Away from the humdrum. We'll need to protect that poor this poor pet lil from all the murder. Guard boost, perfect for me, so that I do not die. I will never die. I am immortal! Ah, your AoE attack does nothing. Now flinch! A little annoying that... I don't know, like, on the one hand, a little annoying that the client is directly behind me. On the other hand... It's better than the client being super far away and getting utterly attacked from behind. Aha! Damage was nullified, you fool! I like that. It's just a neat little thing that happens sometimes. Allies will take damage, or no damage at all. I just keep face palming for him, and that's why he's so enraged. I believe this is the special attack one, so we give that to the boy. Ba -ba 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 -da. We have a lot of elixirs at home, though, so we don't really need to, to buy any. I can't believe I pulled that we have elixir at home. The boy! Do I have enough room to attack from here? Smack! Liu, leave the boy alone. Ah, well that's not good. Well, I guess while we're that... Ah, I guess we can't because I'm paralyzed and can't even swap, which is annoying. Well, darn you, why do you do so much damage? I'm gonna bite you now. Of course I miss. The world is cruel. Well, now you're just a bastard. Well, since this is just the first floor and we did everything... Are we gonna have to fight Dragonite? Hopefully not. <laughs> Sylveon is just our honorary third protagonist. <laughs> she needs to go shopping that day. <laughs> Ow. There you go. Now they're happy. Wow, 
it's really Dragonite. Thank you for taking me all the way. Well done reaching this place. This must be some kind of fate. Let us get acquainted. And now, Dragonite is our friend. And it expands ever more! Sure, let's get out of here before that crab kills me. <laughs> no more expeditions for today. That night. Oh, Baudino's now gonna get terrified. Oh, they're all there. How was it? Just fine. I didn't see anything particularly odd. Phew, well, that's a relief. But then, what could have happened to the vice principal last night? Could it really be ghosts? What? Ghosts? Hadn't you heard the rumors? Everyone's been talking about there being ghosts around the school. What? But that can't be right. Never mind me. Of course there's no way that it could be the case. What? Oh, Mr. Farfetched, it's your turn to do the rounds next, so I wanted to give you a fright. Well, that's just mean. Oh, ha, ha. indeed, I see. There's no way there could be g ghosts. <laughs> so hot. Huh? Did you say something? What do you mean? Are you hearing things? I'm sure it's all in your head, but I'll go have a look around just in case. Take care. I will. I wonder if I went too far. <laughs> it's just so fun to see how far-fetched reacts that I couldn't help myself, but... I suppose I shouldn't teach tease too much. What a bad doctor. <laughs> Mr. Farfetched? What happened, Mr. Farfetched? Oh, did he get kidnapped? Mr. Farfetched! Mr. Farfetched! Silence. No way. Mr. Farfetched, where have you gone? Mr. Farfetched! Mr. Farfetched! <gasps> wow. They're putting a lot of time into this ghost thing. I kind of like it. It's kind of neat. I like the build-up to things. It's just very nice. Dude, dude. Same thing. Heading out again. I reckon you should be careful. Good morning, Neon. Let's do our best out there today. But first, let's look for shinies at your house. See if the Celebi has left any random items lying around for us to take. Just glance around every building, see if there's any new dialogue. Oh, is there commotion in town because of a kidnapped <laughs> teacher? Oh, Neon. Dearling and Gumi, where are you going? We're headed to the school. There's something going on up there. Huh? What do you mean? We don't know any details either. That's the reason we're going there, to find out. Do you want to come too, Gabriel? Yeah, we'll come. I see. So he was already missing by the time you left the staff room. Did you notice anything else strange? No, there was nothing really. Oh, there's a whole crowd! What's happened? Mr. Farfetched has gone missing, apparently. What? Mr. Farfetched is... Ah, uh, students. Miss Adino. Is it really true that Mr. Farfetched has gone missing? It's true. He disappeared during rounds last night. We are looking into his whereabouts now. You children did not notice anything amiss last night. Ah, I would normally ask that. But now that I think of it, you are children. You are not out playing at night, are you? Sheriff Magnuson. Ah, you are back from your questioning. Did you learn anything new? Yes. Uh, I got a report from someone last night claiming to have seen Mr. Farfetched last night. Where did they see him? 
outside the village near the fork in the road. From what I was told, it sounded like Mr. Farfetched was being propelled along the road while unconscious, almost as if he were being pulled by some invisible force or agent. Ah, and the witness claims to have seen eerie blue flames around Mr. Farfetched. B blue flames? But that's... it couldn't be! C -c 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 Everyone, please calm yourselves. I hardly think this is the time or place to start a panic. So stop these strange imaginings. I want everyone to return to their homes. Go on, leave the scene to us. If only we had this guy back at the, uh, that one scene in GTI when everyone started panicking. We will do everything in our power to investigate what happened to Mr. Farfetched. All right, lads, let's continue our investigation. Sir, yes, sir. Got it, sir. Beep, beep. I... I should never have said what I did. What happened was not your fault, Miss Adino. It literally is true. <laughs> like, it's not you telling him about the ghost story that caused it to happen. But it's interesting because Farfetch'd was taken while Watchhog was just knocked unconscious. I wonder if that just means that Watchhog is just that undesirable. I know. Where could he have gone? I'm worried about Mr. Farfetch'd. Wow, you have an impressive robotic voice? Thank you! I just try to think of the proper voices and they come to me sometimes. Always stock up on... Proper provisions. Don't want to be caught without them. Ba, 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 ba. Where did you come from? I thought I didn't have you. How dare you exist. Da, 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 well, let's go sell this extra pristine apple that came out of nowhere. I sell you this apple with sparkle. This apple with spackle. I'm Jorge. I make the spackle. One second. <laughs> Excuse me. According to the witness, Mr. Farfetch'd was moving along the ground as if he was being dragged. It couldn't really be, could it? Oh, please, don't start that again. Quite the ruckus around here. Has something happened? I done heard the news. They say that your teacher's gone missing? Thank you for assisting with the investigation. We will do everything in our power to find Mr. Farfetch'd. Hey, Esper, you know anything? I just got here. Is Mr. Farfetch'd all right? We don't know. Bless you. Thank you. It sure seems like something exciting is going on outside, hmm? What's happened? Your fur protects against your headbutt. Oh, but Victini? What happened to your V-Wheel? If someone would talk to me now, the idea makes me almost faint. Hey, we can have Victini come along with us now if this causes a connection. He can get away from that V-Wheel. Your story was interesting. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. Here's a token of my appreciation. Just kidding. Let's stay friends. V-Wheel! Now we are friends with Victini. Ah, oh, he's friends with a Glaceon and an Espeon. Hey, Charizard. Follow me! And then we just stay here. Nothing happened. 
What is the noise outside? Can't help but wonder. The grown-ups are all in a frenzy. Did something happen? My mom went over that way. Who cares? Let's play! I think the sound effect is a bit different for legendaries, too. Interesting. The door is shut tightly. It looks like it's a place you're not supposed to go into. Hmm. Set at the fork in the road, huh? So I'm outside. So what do you mean the fork in the road? Like, this fork or this fork? I, but I don't know a Pokemon that causes blue flames just yet. Well, I guess nothing else to do but go on an expedition, I guess. Bum. Ah, we have our choice. Bailey for Sneasel. Hey, Sneasel, we haven't seen you since you got your ass kicked on uh, the Shaman Mountain. I'm lost? I can't believe this. To Stonefield again, that nightmare hole! Are you also in Stonefield? Nope, you're in Nectar Meadow, and apparently it's a very difficult one. Check out the locked door together, I'll accept, but I won't go on that mission yet. That's... They gave me options. Thank you very much. <laughs> they gave me options, and I'm gonna... <laughs> We're gonna go to Stonefield and not Nectar Meadow. Stonefield has been kicking my ass, but, uh... Nectar Meadow seems scary. Ba, 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 ba. You know, I just realized something. It seems to be letting me choose to leave an ally behind. What the fuck? Level 55 Dragonite? That seems like overkill. Well, no wonder that asshole was hard to kill. And of course he has only 82 HP compared to the 400 I hit him with. Come along, Victini. Well, let's go on an adventure. But, uh, do we want to go on an adventure, Victini? We do want to go on an adventure. Too. It's Victini. He wasn't allowed to go on adventures last time. Let's go. Ha-ha! <laughs> you fool! Die! Victini just incinerated that guy. I probably should have gone up and then I could have used, like, a vacuum dilidy. Force palm! <laughs> the way that Victini walks is just kind of like a waddle. Well, we already found the... Way to the second floor where our objective is. Ah, uh, clutch performer, I'll just use you. Oh, you motherfucker! I forgot that you're that room clearing asshole. What the fuck? You're new. We have we never we haven't seen you before. Ah, walk away. Ah, oh, god damn it! I'm confused. I had to sleep. <laughs> Throwback to explorers Riolu with the uh, stab focus punch consistently one shotting at least at least one turning bosses. <laughs> yeah, because if I remember correctly, like Riolu could like. Do amazing things back in Explorers. Someone is ahead. We gotta save Sneasel. We're on the floor where he is. Mine. Burn guard prevents you from having burn. Well, I guess. I'm gonna level up my force palm on you. Die.
force bomb. One second, we'll go over here to grab this. Force palm. I'm just gonna level up my force palm on this guy. And now we'll save you. Darn you. Yeah, you found Sneasel! Now we can bring Sneasel on adventures too. Thanks. I normally hate it when I'm in debt to others, but I have, I have to admit you saved me. I do think that is the exact same Sneasel who was saved on Shaman Mountain back in Explorers, like post-game. And I like that. There may, there may still be something ahead. Hmm. I wonder what that means. I think that's just the... Because I haven't been paying attention. So this could just be the stock hay. Do you want to leave? Nine times out of ten, if the species appeared in another game, that's the intended reference. <laughs> keep going ahead? Well, okay. Ugh. Let's keep going ahead. Yeah, because I've like I'm just I'm not sure if like I just haven't been paying attention to the like the text, or if it does it did change to mean like something is ahead. Ah, my force palm has upgraded. Toughness. Hell yeah. We'll wander around a bit, find more items, more Emera. More Emera for my looplet. An elixir, you say? I could be doing with one of those. You bastard. If I script this, bitch. Yeah, sure, why not? Well, now that's just very rude. Oh, hey, I forgot. Paralysis guard. Yeah, sure, why not? Vacuum wave. Vacuum wave. And now we'll move on. But there may be something ahead. Well, let's stay. Yeah, that does seem to be specifically... Heck, hey, things. <laughs> yeah, all of Riolu's moves having terrible power points and having no good room or ranged moves balancing the downright hilarious damage. It was basically min-max to shit for speedrun bosses. <laughs> Die. I forget, were you out there picking up? Nope, that was another motherfucker. Need to be careful. Die. I'm gonna wait in this corner to get my health back a bit. No, don't use it. Don't use it. Vacuum wave! We haven't run into any absolutely evil traps yet. That is a consolation. Force palm. Ow. Die. Don't use it. Okay, fine. Actually, you talked me into it. This guy could survive and hit me again. 
I guess I'll go ahead and use an elixir. We've been saving up on them. Might as well use them. Especially when I'm trying to train up my force palm. I do find it kind of funny that, like, all of the expeditions we've been going on has been leading us here. To the stone field. Again and again. Tracking wave. Darn. Die. Ooh. A power boost X? That should be for me. And the physical power. Aha, fool. Ah, we're not going to get there in time. Don you low tad and my spacing. Die. Well, I guess uh, that'll be that, so let's move along. A traveling Pokemon is on this floor. I wonder what that means. You fool! Nom! Get incinerated. And an apple. Huzzah. The power of apple. To make me rich. Like the actual apple from, from, from our world. That's why the human is obsessed with, like, selling apples. Because it's just like immediately remembers, like, Apple is a money-making in the human world. Oh! Hello. Neon greeted the traveling Leafeon and compared notes with it. Leafeon looks satisfied. Huh. Neat. I wonder. I wonder what that is. Just boosting everything. Great job! You found a traveling leafy on. Don't you just love photosynthesis? Well, none of us are plant Pokemon, so I can't say. But huh. Interesting. Would you like to exit the dungeon now? Sure. That's that's interesting. Very, very interesting. No more expeditions today. The next morning. Yeah, that is just very, very interesting. Morning, Neon. It's been a whole day now. Wonder what's become of Mr. Farfetched. Poor fella. I reckon you should be careful out there, too. Huh, that, that expression. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Gabriel didn't come out to run out to join me. Some dungeons have missions unique to them that don't appear in the connection orb list to encourage exploring new dungeons whenever you can. When you are in one of these dungeons, the game will say, there may be something ahead you still want to leave. Hmm, interesting. Huh? Gabriel didn't come today? Maybe it's still a bit early. Hey, Neon! Oh, maybe I'm late. Neon, you won't believe it! They found Mr. Farfetched! What, they did? Apparently, he was found unconscious near the shore of the lake. I was just on my way to tell you, too, Neon. Come on, let's go. Well, at least they found him. I'll pinch him. And show him it in Esper, too. What have you heard? At the least, it seems Mr. Farfetch'd was not injured. He's up and moving and talking to everyone like normal. Yeah, <sighs> well, that, well, thank goodness. 
What? You don't remember? That's right. I don't know if it's because of the fright, but I can't recall a thing. I was taken somewhere dark and held there for some time, and there were these blue flames. Oh! How frightening. Seems that the poor fellow has been through quite the ordeal. I don't even want to imagine it. B blue flames? You don't think it could really be g ghosts? Wait, ghosts? It really is ghosts? I I'm not afraid of any such fairy tales. Surely there has to be a fairy type. Like, Audino is a fairy type. <laughs> like, what, what are fairy tales in this world? <laughs> Come to think of it. Ridiculous. Now, now, everyone. I wish you would all calm down. I understand why all these mysterious happenings may have you feeling uneasy. But look at what we know. Mr. Farfetched is back among us and unharmed. Well, physically at least. He seems mentally and emotionally hurt. The vice principal is also doing just fine, even if he is at home in his bed. There have been no real harm done to merit such an overreaction. That's true. But that doesn't mean that something terrible might not occur next time. Indeed, we should all be careful. I would suggest that no one visit the school at night for the time being. We should see if that puts a stop to these incidents first. I will tell the sheriff about the plan when I see him later. So everyone, back to your homes. Actually, no, Adino's not a fairy type. Oh, I thought she, I thought they were. Hmm. However, the mega form is. Hmm. Weird. It just screams like, why is it that Adino, another pink kind of helpful Pokemon, isn't a fairy type when I'm fairly certain that at least, like, Clef uh, Clefairy and Clefable were turned fairy type. And then also Mawile was turned fairy type, I'm fairly certain. Like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting because uh, it seems like a bunch of pink Pokemon are fairy type, but not Odino. Huh. Well, then again, I was never all that good with the typings. It always slipped my mind. What do you think really happened to Mr. Farfetch'd? It's a real mystery. Well, of course it's mysterious. We are talking about ghosts, after all. Stop. Don't drag the conversation back that way again. I'm scared. <laughs> you really are spineless. I bet you hide in your bed at night, shaking and too scared to sleep. <laughs> well, the Clefairy line have always been <laughs> literally the fairy Pokemon. That's true. I was going to say, is everyone afraid of ghosts in this village until Simipur spoke up? Then again, Simipur is kind of like, I don't know, he's kind of sort of Quagsire adjacent in terms of personality so far. Uh, I really wish he'd just leave it alone. Don't take him too seriously. He's just trying to get under your skin. Come on, Gumi, you cheer up too. It's our long-awaited summer vacation. Let's try to have some fun, okay? At least he's not too upset to not want to go today. I would like to try to solve this mystery. Ah, Esper is like Velma, I see. Come on, it's our summer vacation. Let's try to have at least a little fun. Yeah, you're right. We've got to enjoy it. Could it be those rumors? Could they really be true? I love that impact jump scare. It's just so amazing. <laughs> this is all so scary. I'm not frightened. I'm not. Blue flames. It could really be. <laughs> Let's split up, gang, and search for clues. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. Meanwhile, Kekleon, not caring in a world. Here's these fresh apples I'm willing to sell ya. And you got any... A detect loop. It makes it easier for the holder to dodge attacks. Hmm. Interesting. 
but mm, not sure. If it had more slots, I'd use it. <laughs> Sorry for not being present. The last few streams have been busy lately. No problem at all. But thank you for spending the time today to join us. I'm Zangus. I'm the leader of Team Razorwind. Hey, you're alive. I remember you. You were, like, hanging around in uh, Explorers. And then, like, one day you were like, And by the way, I'm going to disappear now. And you'll never see me again. Which was very weird. Yep, team leader of AWD, the legendary thieves. My cheek pouches can store lots of food, but I'd rather others keep their food separately. That's been a bit since we've seen you from GTI. This is exactly when you need to take a nap for an hour or two and to forget things. An hour or two or three or four. Still, I can't seem to forget about it. Everything is quite in an uproar right now, but try not to take it to heart. Thank you, Mama Kangaskhan. But let's go to the school anyway, because I want to ravage the... Oh, hey! For the buildings. There must be some evidence we've overlooked, peep peep peep. It's always best to come back to the scene when an investigation isn't going anywhere. A real policing basic right there. I'd poor Farfetch take himself off home to rest. Thank goodness he seems fine. We just have to look around more carefully. I just let the sheriff know about the decision to close the school at nights. Meanwhile, I'm looking for dropped things of value. But I wonder what it could be. Also, why is everyone like gasp g g, -g ghosts Ghost types exist in this world. Are you all just prejudiced against ghost types here in this world? Well, I guess let's check a look at the connection orb. All right, we got Machop. Battle Machop at the Cave of Training, difficulty one. It would still be a boss fight, so we'd want to bring a bunch of blast seeds to nuke him to death. Battle Panseer, I guess I'll accept, but we'll put off doing you. You're a bit more difficult. What happens if a ghost type dies? Honestly, no idea. Ba -da -da. Honestly, I'll take these four blast seeds with me. Uh, Cave of Training, where we're gonna beat up <laughs> Machop. Funny thing is, have we even seen a ghost-type Pokemon yet? Like, maybe in the dungeon, but not like as a person out and about, I don't think. And, uh, do I have anybody who's good to... fight against a uh, fighting type? Because I'm not sure, like... I'm not sure how good fairy type is against fairy type. Uh, <laughs> fighting type, I mean. You're a dark type, so definitely not you. Dragon flying? But I don't want to bring on a level 55. I feel like that's cheating. We could bring him along the routes for that guaranteed psychic, because Victini is very much wanting to use his fire moves. So, come on, Routes, let's go beat up a psychic. Uh, let's go beat up a fighting type today. Oh, and especially fairy. Oh, so maybe I should have brought Sylveon. You fool. Vacuum wave! You think you can thunder shock me? Force palm! We cannot leave just yet. We have to search for Emera and apples. Especially the apples. Trap proof, uh, sure, why not? It's nice to have, uh, it'll be the first one to be replaced if I find a better Emera. I like this music. Mystery Dungeon music is just my favorite genre.
And Ralts has four times resistance against... Well, wait, oh yeah, I forgot. Ralts is also a fa fairy type now. So maybe I should have Ralts face tank. The Machop. Barrage, motherfucker! Oh, but that would be good for you. Barrage for you, so that when we go up against the Machop, I'll take over Ralts and beat him the fuck down with psychic fairy power. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a funny joke. It's like, clap if you believe that you're gonna survive this. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to take your hands. This is the gen when the Ralts line became part fairy type. Then again, this is the generation that introduced fairy types in general, I'm very certain. So it all kind of makes sense. You think you can growl at me, Mr. Bird? Die. No, die. I level up my force palm by slapping birds out of the air. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Someone picked up a barrage! And uh, I feel like we should definitely give the next barrage to Gabriel so that he can psi beam barrage the enemy. Bra -ta -ta -bra. Let's get rid of all this growl juice. Lots of oran berries. That's kind of worrisome. It's like the game is telling me, hey, <laughs> you're gonna need this. Da da da. Force palm. Out of my way. I'm running to an Emera. Tail whip me all you want. I just want this Emera. Payback? Holy school put uh, this Emera sometimes cuts the attacker's HP to one when a move by that attacker damages you. You know what? Since we're gonna have, uh... I, like, I kind of wish that I, like, could see the stats, because, like, it would be four-time resistant. Face tank. Face tank Ralts. Yeah, Ralts basically has the same amount of HP as anybody else in here. Focus energy all you want, smack. And a barrage for Gabriel, so that he can side beam to his heart's content. Hey, you're not the Machop we're looking for. Although that would be kind of funny. Force pump! It would be kind of funny if, like, your target is wandering this dungeon and you have no tell of where they are. Until surprise! Ah, someone up ahead? Well then, let's prepare. All right, let's see. Who needs Elixir more than anyone else? We need to get your side beam up. I shall become the gay the the routes. Let's go. Oh, it's multiple. I should have brought better diddly dees. Magical leap. Confusion! How, how dare you throw me? Confusion! Confusion! 
definitely use that. Basically, they're just throwing us all around. Ow. Jerk. Oh, fine, I'll confuse your friend. Confusion. The barrage is definitely helping. Eh, better safe than sorry. Sure, we, we have plenty of orange berries, honestly. How strong is this one guy? I've been confusing him for a long time. There you go. Oh, it's because he was the main one. Ha! <laughs> I thought we had to destroy them all, but no, he was the target and he had two bodyguards. You have nice muscles! Muscle, muscle! I have muscles on my muscle. I guess you could say I'm ultimate muscle. Even though I've never watched that show except for little bits I saw on four kids way, way back. Wait a minute, I know this song. Well, like, kind of, sort of song. It's like, it's a very basic song, but it's kind of like a remix of, like, previous ones, which I like. It's just nice. Oh, and? By Machop's introduction. Oh! <laughs> He's just like, hey. Let me introduce you to a friend of mine. You know what? Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> we left Machop's friend behind. Machop will never, ever forgive Machop for this. The next morning. Yeah, I caught scene angle. At least I thought it was. Kind of, sort of. We kind of zoomed in, but then we zoomed out. Morning, Neon. Sure was a good thing they found that Mr. Farfetch'd of yours, but sure does seem like there was a lot of unanswered questions still. Maybe it was them Bayhem fellas causing trouble again? I reckon you best be careful out there, kid. Morning, Neon. Let's go out there again today. Hey! Huh, Shelmet? What's up? Panchum's got something to tell everybody. Uh, Panchum does? Yeah, so I'm going around now and telling everybody from class. I'm off to Deerling's Nest. Don't know why I'm the only one who has to run all over, though. But I guess I can't complain if it gives me the chance to meet with Deerling. Hee-hee. <laughs> We're meeting up on the hill with the big tree. You better be there. Later! Wonder what Panchum wants to talk about. Somehow I've got a bad feeling. But I guess we've got to at least go and hear him out. Just because he's a jerk to <laughs> prove your metal. How so? What? You're daring us to all sneak into the school? Yeah, that's right. I've been thinking about this for some time, you know, and I've decided, well, basically, it seems like there are an awful lot of wimpy kids around these days. Listen to him talk as if he's not just another kid himself. And topping the list, a certain Gabriel right there. What? It's just some spooky rumors, but look at how you're all panicking and acting weird. So that's why I decided... It's about time you all toughen up. Go to the school at night and face your fears. While we're at it, we'll find out once and for all if there are any ghosts there. Wait, we will? You serious, Pansham? What? Did you think I was just saying all this as a joke? Or maybe you're just scared too. Uh, I am not. Fine. I'm in if you are. I'll prove I've got the guts. But... We'll get in trouble with our parents if they find out about it. Oh no, they're all we're all gonna tell you. Let me guess, everyone is gonna say, oh, we're just gonna have a sleepover at Esper's house <laughs> because she's the one that doesn't have any parents. Huh. All you have to do is not get caught sneaking out of your house. But then what if we get caught afterwards, huh? 
We just have to not get caught. I don't see the problem. I think I'm with Pantrum on this one. I want to see these ghosts for myself. Esper, really? <laughs> I knew I could count on you, Esper. You're a girl who knows what matters. I'll just go on ahead and call it then. Tonight, we are sneaking into the school. Look, when you're beat, you're beat. So suck it up and we'll re be ready for tonight. See you all there. You're dismissed. Uh, I'm not sure how things turned out like this. I'm really not on board with this plan at all. I guess it's all set now. Even if Pancham did decide everything all by himself. Well, I guess that's it for today. Let's go home. <laughs> From YouTube chat, sleep over at Esper's house, yikes, Neon. Why? We could just have a nice school class sleepover. They're all friends. It would be the perfect cover, uh, cover for all this. Again, even though it's weird that Esper doesn't have any parents. Uh... I really don't want to go to the school at night. To be honest, I find it very, very, very scary. So I'm pretty much planning to stick to you like glue, Neon. You'll let me, won't you? We'll stick together, right? Of course! Will you let Gabriel stick close beside you while exploring the school at night? Of course! For we are darling friends! Thanks, Neon. I'm seriously useless when it comes to ghosts and those things. You're a lifesaver. So tonight, the grown-ups will spot us if we just walk out of our front doors as usual. I say we should sneak out of our bedroom windows, okay? Mine kind of have, like, wooden bars on them. And plus, I don't like testing the ability to sneak in and out of my room, considering I have Behem on me. Trying to find me, abduct me. Good luck, and I'll see you tonight. No going ahead without me, Neon. See you then. Save the adventure as we go to the horror show. That night. All right. I guess it's about time we start heading to the school. Where does... Where does... Uh, Caracosta and Nuzleaf even sleep in their houses? They don't have a room. I guess it's time we start heading to the school. I've got to sneak out in some way so Nuzleaf won't notice a thing. Well, all right, here we go. Oh, we do have doors. Somehow. Huh. Phew. Looks like I managed to get out without anyone noticing. Neon. Gabriel. Uh... I'm normally fine with walking around at night or even excited about it, but ghost stories are on the one thing I'm not so good with. You take the lead, Neon. I'll follow behind. Oh, and go as slowly as you can. No need to rush or anything. Just stick by my side. Oh, there you are. Man, you took your sweet time. Huh? Neon, is that Gabriel hiding back there behind you? Just as wimpy as ever. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh well. At least we're all here now. Come on, let's get started. <laughs> we just take our places. Well, everyone has taken their usual seats, but... What now? What do you expect us to do? Isn't it obvious? We're just gonna have to wait until the ghosts appear. But what if they don't appear? When do we decide to go home? What? Wait for the ghosts? Not that I think that any will just appear on their own. I guess we'll just have to call them here ourselves. What? Don't. Hey, spooky ghosts. Where are you? If you really exist, come out and prove it. J stop already, please. Hey, come on, you dumb ghosts. For a moment, as I was reading it, I almost thought it said, Come on, you dumbass ghosts. <laughs> I almost thought it said that. Where are you two, Din Student? Yeah! What's the matter? 
Looks like another fainting spell. Are you serious? Nothing's even happened yet. I imagine Gabriel cannot take the suspense any longer. Yeah, but still, that's really jumping the gun. They have guns in this world? Th th they have guns in this world. They are a thing. Well, then again, water gun. Jumping the water gun, I guess. And there's probably other things like like uh, some moves that have the word bullet and stuff. So I guess gun could just be like projectile shot move rather than actual lead sling and human creation. The Magmortar also has gun hands. True. <laughs> Sheesh. That's like beyond cowardly. Whatever. Let's get out of here. Hot. Huh? Shelmet? Did you just say something? It wasn't me. Must have been someone else. So hot. I is that... That there's someone here. S someone beside us. Someone here in the school? Uh, uh, pension? Hot. It's so hot. Who is that? Who's there? Ah, shit. That's... The blue... Flames! Oh, great. M all of them. I can't take it anymore. I'm too scared. Ugh! Gooby! Forget this. This is way too creepy. Sorry, but I'm out. What in the... Hey, Shelmet! You mean you're just gonna faint so you don't have to see what happens next? Isn't that taking the easy way out? Come on! If you go and do a thing like that, then I... Then I... Then I'll... Was it you? Was it you who has summoned me? You have some nerve. Even if you have no chance against me. Ah! What the? What is that? Is that? Come, child. I'll give you a taste. Come and learn. What true fear tastes like. Giratina, what the fuck? Yeah! Gira Giratina. You serious? But Gir Giratina isn't actually associated with, like, blue flames, though. What? 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 Uh, what in the world? Uh. We're at the school? Did we all black out? Hey, everybody! Benjamin Shillman are gone! Esper too! What in the world is going on? I'm so lost right now. That's because you fainted before anyone else, Gabriel. After you blacked out, these blue flames appeared all around us. What? And this huge, scary, shadowy thing. It appeared and was looming over us. Time to fight God, kid. <laughs> oh, sorry, not God, Satan. Oh, close enough in this case. It appeared and was looming over us. Hey, don't you go fainting again. No, I won't allow it. No more fainting around here. Oh, that worked. But where do you think the others went? Benjamin, Shelmet, and Esper. I know where they are. Oh, I guess you didn't faint. Uh, Esper? Where have you been? What happened? I was following Pancham and Shelmet. They were taken away by force. What? Yes, I saw it all with my uh, open eyes. When the large shadow appeared and everyone else fainted in fright, I did not faint. But I could not predict what might happen next, and so I pretended to be unconscious as well. What, you just pretended? Y you're amazing. You really aren't scared at all of ghosts and things? Not at all. If anything, I quite like them. Your parents aren't ghosts, are they? Back to the story, though. What happened after that? I waited to see what developed, and when I did... <laughs> the shadow eventually went away, and after it did... Those blue flames began to move again. And Pancham and Shelmet were dragged away by some unseen force. Do you all remember what the witnesses said when Mr. Farfetch disappeared? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they said that they saw Mr. Farfetch'd where the road forks. 
And didn't they say that they saw blue flames at that time, too? Exactly. So I thought I might be witnessing what happened to Mr. Farfetched. And thus I followed after Pantrum and Shellman. And where did they go? Come, I'll show you. They went to the burrow, didn't they? They went to the burrow, didn't they? They went to that place where we're never meant to go, and they went to the burrow, didn't they? And it's fucking open, too. Oh. This is it. The door's open! The door to the ancient barrow? But why My old pops and the other grown-ups are always saying that we can't go in, right? But Benjamin Shelmet did? Yes. More accurately, they were pulled in. And that was the last that I saw of them. No way, this is way too creepy. Seriously, what should we do? I really can't handle places like this. I feel like I might faint at any moment. Gabriel. But we just have to do it. I've got to psych myself up to do it. Gabriel. You do remember that this is the place all the adults say we should never, ever enter. Look, I don't want to break the rules either, but what matters now is... We've got to save Pantrum and Shellman. They may not be perfect, but they're still our classmates. You're right. We just have to be brave. Okay? I'm going to. I can't let Gabriel go it alone. Me too. Of course I'll be going. Everyone, thank you. Gumi, if you're scared, you can always wait here. No, I'm going. Besides, it's probably even scarier to wait out here all by myself. And I want to help save them, too. All right. Well, let's go, team. We're going to find Pantrum and Shelmet, and we're going to bring them back safely. The real question is, why does the town even have a place like this? Looks like we're going to have to be brave through this. Let's all go together to find them. I'm going, too. I want to help save them, too. Of course I'm going. But first, I want to see if I can gather up supplies before we go. It may be scary, but let's all go together. We have to rescue Pantrum and Shellman. Am I capable of going to the deposit box? I think so. Maybe we... <laughs> and everywhere is closed down. I also kind of like that the... Like, uh... There's not a much, not a lot of noise. Well, since we're probably going to be fighting a, a god in there, we probably should uh, see about things. Let's see. Confuses enemies in the room. Hmm. I guess we'll take. Two totter orbs. Oh, there we go. I think. So let's see how many things. We have a lot of... And honestly, I think uh, to play it safe... <laughs> I'll fill out my inventory with reviver seeds. Well... First things first, save. And then we're gonna head in. The town likely buries their dead here, you know, since it's a crypt. I don't think so. Everyone, because the place has been locked down and everyone's just like, don't go in, it's scary, so I don't know. To the ancient barrow we go. Add members you want to take and away you go. Hmm. Let's see. Esper is actually higher level than everybody and is psychic. But I think psychic isn't good against... Hmm. I forget, because if this is ghost. But I guess uh, Esper. She's not afraid of no ghost. Up, well, let's go. Ancient Barrow time. But, uh, ooh. 
I like the music already. Just very bombastic. And a hone edge? Huh. Ba, 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 bum, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. I'm digging this music. Ah, great, I'm confused. Ba, 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 ba. This music is very, very nice. Ooh, Slumber Orb. Will I care to swap anything out? I don't think so. Honestly, Trap Bust Orb. Why did I even bring you? Ooh, and these drums. This is a good song. Doesn't very feel ancient pharaoh-y, but does still feel very nice. The only downside to the others, like... Oh, I actually hit you. Well, we need to head to that exit before Deerling gets into trouble. I think she's in trouble. Oh, good job. Or maybe that was Gabriel attacking. I don't know. He's off screen too. Let's get out of here, gang. Get blasted. Power Boost X increases attacks from eating, so I assume. I doubt I'll be uh, punching many things, but hey. Time to die. Coughing. This is a very, very nice song. Of course I'll take Status Mirror. Yo, leave Deerling alone, yo sn... I was gonna say snake, but you're not really a snake. And then we shall eat the apple. Take the pristine apple with us. It may not be super effective, but it's effective enough. Haha, leveled up your ember as well. And shit, now you're poisoned. That ain't good. Motherfucker. Who even installs an industrial fan in a crypt? Well, I don't think there's much else. Nom. Really, if anything, I probably should have bought more Max Elixirs. Yeah. I wonder how deep this is gonna go. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Uh, I don't think it's enough to justify eating, so. Uh, is there anything at the bottom we care about? Honestly, this is no time for escape. Ba, ba. A 
Okay, good. <laughs> Gumi almost split up the gang. Well, that's just very rude. Power boost Y. Definitely the boy. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba. Let's beat up this guy before he can beat up beat us up. Ah, I'll just eat it. Excessive force. Numb. Beat me up all you want, you bloody... Wait a minute, I have foresight. I should be using that against ghosts. It lets me hit ghosts. Distance dodging. Honestly... Damn it, I almost got you. And what do we have here? God boost? Sure. The music is just so good. I love it. Doesn't feel spooky, but it does feel nice. Also nice of Gabriel to be, like, uh, not afraid to not stick to me like glue. I guess I'll swap so we have full pristine. Full pristine apples to sell when we get out of here. Nom. My bite has leveled up, you fool. And what is clairvoyance again? Map a uh, location of items on the entire floor. Then definitely want that. Because now I know where to go on each place. A power boost Y? Boost your power too. Let's see, who needs it the most? Honestly, my bite is doing work, so me. Bing, bong, bing, 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 bong. Tight bulldozer, hell yeah! I'll replace that distance dodge. Now I'm gonna fighting type all these guys without my foresight. Berry power what? Holding of the lift uh, sometimes prevents stats from being lowered and prevents bad status condition. So, sometimes stops stats from being lowered, but seems to permanently stop being affected by things entirely. Honestly, status mirror in that case. It's kind of uh, the similar thing. Force Palm! Ha! Already coming in clutch. Well, I guess not really coming in clutch, but it is very helpful. Ah, crap. No dying out here. No dying to bugs when this is a ghost place. It's against the law. Also, can I just say I'm super happy that I got my... Like, uh, weather looplet super early. So I can just have Imaras for days. <laughs> Imaras for days. Uh, 
I don't care about you, but there is an Emra over here that I want. Wand expert, I'll just use you. Well, first things first, what do you do? Ups attack? Haha! <laughs> and I can punch ghosts! Oh, I forgot to look at what the other item is. That's a wand, who cares? I don't use wands. My inventory is full of apples and reviver seeds and blast seeds. Well, somebody picked up my tiny reviver seed. Ah, we're not going to get there in time, are we? We entered on the wrong side of town. Oh, nope, we might just get it. Burn guard, uh, I guess uh, we'll give it to you. And poison guard, we'll give to you. Since you got poisoned last time. Force palm! Force palm! Gotta level it up. <laughs> oh, I didn't think berry power could be gotten at this point. Apparently it can. Haha! <laughs> There are some Emeras that never show up until deep into the post-game dungeons. That makes sense. And kind of makes me wonder, what could they even be if they are relegated to post-game? If they're just that powerful. An Emera up orb? I should have brought one myself. Hmm, Barrage Guard. So, I don't think it's all that diddly D. so I shall nom... We never did find... Oh, wait, that, that, that's a dead-end room. I'm an idiot. Are you trying that? No! Perfect timing. I could use a top-up. Well, actually, not that much of a top-up, but definitely... Uh, definitely you. Definitely need to top up the boy. Bum, bum. Ah, just a... Enough of the missing. I'm here to kill you. Force palm. Oh. Distance dodge. Uh, let's see, what stat do you raise? Speed? Nom. Ah, Yes, please. Keep uh, coming in on in. Emra up orb. Yoink! My Emeras shall grow. So if we get a good Emra, I can then um, power myself up even more. Uh -huh, you can't do that. Force bomb. Just leveling up my force palm so I can annihilate fools. Ah, midway point. This looks like a good place to stop and catch our breath. Yeah, we should be safe here for now. Phew, I was so on edge this whole time. Now that we've stopped, I suddenly can't seem to stop shaking. Me too. Oh, I feel like my vision is going dark. Hey, Gabriel, stop that this instant! Huh? Well, that was close. Thanks, dearling. We still haven't seen any sign of Pancham or Shelmet. I suppose the real challenge still lies ahead. Everyone, be on your guard. We'll put in these pristine apples and take out less pristine apples so that we can feel... Not that bad. I wonder if my Emeras will stay. Because it's we're still in the dungeon. Oh, I did bring in an Emera orb. Huh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> and we have max elixirs and normal elixirs, so we should be fine. No matter how scary it is, we have to keep going. I'm scared too. The hard part's still to come. We have to stay sharp and keep moving. I still can't stop shaking. Yeesh. 
Just emotional terror up in here. I see an Emera up, up here. I see some Emeras right up here. Big ears, which is just, uh, lets them know I'm just gonna use. Nom. I want stat ups for others. Barrage! <laughs> and then if I come across a, a, a good, like, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna eat it and increase my health. Bum, bum, bum. And then I can use my, I think, clairvoyance it is, to search out every single item. Ah, uh, you just got Pokey? Well, it's mine now. Give it. Give me all your money! I gotta stat myself up so I can utterly annihilate this coming boss. And by that, I mean I gotta level up my Force Palm. Bum, bum. I still love this song. This is great. Like, there's a reason that, like... Like, because here's the thing. Somehow, Child Me got to this point before I stopped playing this game, but I do not remember anything except for, like, this song. I do not know why. Ah, supersonic. Ah, but it didn't work, because Emera power, bitch! Your takedown means nothing in the face of my force palm. Force palm! Gotta level it up. Become an utter god. Boom. Oh man, props to like, uh, Gumi and Deerling, because they're not dungeon delvers. Like us. Blinker Seed, what are you? Eating it makes you go blind. Huh. What does it do if I throw it at a Zubat? They don't have eyes. Mine! Uh, another status mirror. Well, I guess, uh... Did... Well, first, let's see. What do you give me if I eat you? More speed? Definitely need you. I need the drug. I need speed. I need to up my health so I can tank all that the boss has. We'll swap with a bad... Well, no, it's not a bad apple, even though that's a great song. Time for you to die. Type Bulldoze destroys you. Get out of here. I'm going to grow up to become a great Lucario that will destroy all evildoers. Well, we need to find the exit. Maybe to this right here. Aha! Perfect. Ah, level up for me! Ha ha! I don't care. I'm gonna go for those Zimmeras. They are mine. I have enough of a team to survive. Another clairvoyance. Well, we don't need you, so yump. Another status mirror. Yump. Another Ornberry. Nom. I will become immortal. Swap for a lesser apple. And then eat off the ground. Go for this Emera. Of course, it's at the end of the room. Damn it.
Force palm. You think you're a big guy? Force palm. Gotta level it up. Become ultimate power. Especially because force palm with this bulldoze means I have nothing to fear. That one apple, uh, well, one item is far away, so we'll leave it on its own. Well, there's an elixir we gotta get. Dang it, Gumi. Astonish all you want. I kill you. You have brought yourself to a bad place. Thank you. Man, that ball toy's speed must be beyond. In the heal block status, the Pokemon can't recover HP either naturally or with an item removed. The status goes away after a while. Well, that's just me. I think you can beat him. Kill him. Now, who needs it the most? Me with my Force Palm, because I have to level it up so I can become the greatest power ever. Super critical. Definitely for me. Excessive force uh, is less than useful. Hmm. And really, I think that elixir was the only item that I really cared about. Personally, I think I should be able to see, like, on the minimap, like, what my allies see in the room they're in if they're not in the same room as me. Because it can get a little bit annoying when I step out of a room right as an enemy steps in. When I have a long train of allies. And Force Palm. Force Palm upgraded. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, poison guard, let's see. We'll give it to you, just in case. Jesus Christ, how many enemies are out for us? Now, I want to skip, well, I guess I can just skip turn like that. At least they give a night this like early long dungeon a really good song. We've made it pretty far down. I think I hear voices from over that way. Let's go. Oh, that's a cool arena. Esper? Where were the voices coming from? Is that Gabriel? Gabriel is the, oh, is the, is the dark, like, presumably Giratina, like, using, like, I, pretending to be Pantrum or something? Gabriel, is that you? That voice! That's Pantrum's voice. Is Gumi with you too? Please, get us out of here. Sh Shelmet too. Shelmet, Pantrum, can you hear us? Where are you two? I'm not really sure. It's all black. Pantrum, Shelmet, just hold on. We're going to get you out of here. Oh, you will. That voice. Who's that? It is I, the Darkland Emissary. You don't come from the Dark World. You're from the Distortion World, Siri Giratina. What? The Darkland? Yeah! Ah! You have come to a forbidden place. None who have come here have ever returned. What? Gabriel, don't you faint now! Steady on! However, there is one condition on which I may allow you to depart. Condition? Pancham Shelmet! You guys! 
Save us! Get us out of here! Here are my conditions. Grant me their spirits, and I swear I will let you go. What? You heard me. Grant me their spirits. I will allow you to escape unharmed. Pentiums and Shilmet spirits? What do you say? It's not such a bad deal, wouldn't you say? But Giratina doesn't care about spirits, do they? It's mostly just, like, doing whatever they want. Then again, this is the, like, mystery dungeon Giratina. Could be different. Not on your life! Gabriel! What was that? What did you just say to me? I said that we're never doing that! Oh, cripes, I'm so scared. Like we did give them up for ourselves. I think I might faint. Pancham and Shelman are our... It's no good. Our friends! I'm gonna faint. Gabriel. Gabriel. You. You will come to regret those words. Well, that's not good. Well, I never associated Giratina with, uh, Litwix, but hey. <laughs> then again, Litwix didn't exist when Giratina was introduced, so who knows? We're surrounded! Everybody, I'm really sorry! You can blame me for all this! No, we all feel the same. Even if Gabriel hadn't said it, any one of us would have done the same. I'll be brave and fight too! Say farewell. To your spirits! I am Giratina, devourer of innocent spirits such as yours. Oh shit, it's actually here. Whoa! I am the Darkland Emissary. Well, uh, first things first. Totter Orb! Oh, well that, <laughs> at least I did that early. And use protect, moves won't affect him, oh no. Then how about foresight? Nope, that wouldn't work. Oh, hey, now it's back to normal. Also, you are very big. You know what? I think I'm gonna beat you up, Giratina. Ow. Horse palm! Damn it, Mo missed. You're sp and he's dead, yay! I win! Why was Salamence harder than you? Grawr! Eek! Ah! We did it! We actually beat Giratina? We defeated Giratina! Grawr! We won! So please, give Pancham and Shelmet back! I cannot do that. None can leave this place. You know, you keep saying that. But is that not the case? Before we battled, you said that you would let us go in exchange for the boy's spirits. If we'd agreed at that time, then we would have been able to return from this place, would we not? Uh, I'm a bit confused now, but... but... But I'm the Darkland Emissary! So, give up on any hope of returning from this place! Do you even know what you're saying anymore? Sh shut up! You are a very childish legend. I said you can't, so you can't, got it? You just can't! Oh, that's enough, Solosis. Oh. 
Oh, so th 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 this was uh, Groudon all over again, huh? Litwick! Let's just give a, give it up, Solosis. What? It doesn't look like these kids are going to get scared no, no matter what we do. But then... Yeah, it's fine. We're done here. Thanks for trying so hard, though. <laughs> How did you even do that? You're so tiny. Yeah! I tried so hard. I really did. What? Yeah, Solosis, it's all thanks to you that we could even keep this going this long. We really owe you. So please don't cry. <laughs> yeah. Please, can you explain what's going on? The truth is that the Giratina that you all fought was not the real Giratina at all. It was just an illusion created by Solosis. What? Well, we were just... We're really sorry. All about all that about Giratina being the Darkland Emissary and you never returning home. It was all just a lie. We're really, really sorry. What? It was all lies? What in the world is going on here? Okay, let me explain. We let Wick go on a journey to try and scare the Pokemon of this world. Seeing others carrying fears like food to us. What I'm trying to convey is that it's the source of our energy. You get energy from seeing other Pokemon get scared? Create a haunted house and pe you get money and fear. Do that. <laughs> like literally, you just make a haunted house. Solosis can pretend to be scary Pokemon. These, the Pokemon of Serene Village are pansies. You can get all the fear you want and people will give it to you. I'm surprised that a Zorark hasn't been used as an illusion in a story yet. Actually, you're right. Because they... Uh, Zorark wasn't part of the main or post story for GTI. Huh. You'd think that at least a Zoroa... Like a childly Zoroa trying to help out his Litwick buddies, maybe. Why a Solosis? <laughs> you get energy from seeing other Pokemon get scared? Yeah, nothing gets us pumped up like seeing somebody trembling in fear. Boo! See, just giving your friend Gumi as a little fright made my flames grow strong. Huh. So we came here in the hopes of scaring everyone, but eventually we always get found out and everyone just ends up getting mad at us. Of course they do. Who wouldn't? Then we get chased out of town and have to move on to the next place. And that's how we've moved from one village to the next all this time. But all our usual tricks start getting a bit old and we were stuck in a rut. Until we ended up unable to scare anyone at all. And that's when it happened. That's when we met Solosis. Solosis listened to our story and took pity on us in our plight. And eventually even agreed to help us. He can create illusions of frightening Pokemon with his psychic powers. And that allowed us to scare everyone once again. And boy, did we ever scare everyone. It was just one smash hit after another. We were just knocking them out of the park, scaring poor villagers left and right. Hey, try not to sound so happy when you're saying that. You made a big mess, and we even had to have sheriffs come to investigate. I agree that you've probably taken things too far. Once everyone finds out about this, you probably won't be able to stay here. Well, about that, we feel really bad about making it... Really bad making any requests after causing such a big fuss, but... Please, do you think you could not tell anyone about us being here? Or the way we tried to scare everyone? What? If we get chased out of this village, we'll have to try to find a new home again. We promise that we won't cause any more trouble, though. Please, we're begging you. Will you not agree to tell the other villagers about what happened here? Sure. <laughs> what? Hold on, Gabriel. Are you sure about what th about this? We're just going to forgive them? Yeah, I think it's fine. And here's the partner's theme. I forgive them. I don't think they're really bad Pokemon. Seems like they feel bad about it all. And the Litwick, we ha have to scare Pokemon to get energy, right? So I mean, this time they won't- they went too far, and that's no good. But maybe it's okay if it's just a little. A reasonable amount of scaring- Again, make a haunted house! And Pokemon will come to you for scares! Oh, and maybe they should try to do something good for every time they scare somebody. 
on the sly so that nobody notices. Wait, how come you're deciding everything? What does everyone else think? To be honest, I have a hard time following Gabriel's thinking. Saying that it's fine to scare Pokemon just a little, how do you measure that? But I do think that it, doing something nice for others is a good idea. So if that's what Gabriel wants, then I suppose I'm all right with it. Hesper, I think it's okay to go along with Gabriel's idea too. I mean, I guess. It's pretty strange, but I think it might end up all right. And Gumi! But Neon, what do you think? Do you think we should forgive the Litwick like Gabriel says? I mean, now that we know where they are, if they go too far again, we can just tell the sheriff, yeah, there are Litwick and a Solosis in the ancient borough doing all this. And if they do do, like, good things for an exchange of a little spook, then I guess it's, like, fine. I know that the Litwick aren't really cruel Pokemon, so I guess it's all right as long as they realize what they did wrong. Neon! Yeah, if Gabriel wants to forgive them, then I guess we've got to. After all, Gabriel was the one who was the most scared by all this. Dearling! But you didn't have to remind everybody that I was the most scared! So I guess we're decided. We won't tell anyone about the Litwick. But where's Pantrum and Shelman? Really? Thank you. Thank you so much! Don't forget to do nice things for others, either. <laughs> of course, we won't forget. We'll be sure to do good things. We won't let anyone know either. And no more big pranks like this one. Is that a deal? Even if Mr. Farfetch'd wasn't harmed, it's still not right to go kidnapping Pokemon. Oh, speaking of kidnapping... Oh, yeah! What about Pancham and Shelmet? <laughs> oh, yeah. Solosis, if you would. Yeah. That's just kind of funny. You guys! <laughs> it's so scary! Thank goodness that you both are okay. Come on. It's time we all headed home. We're all gonna get caught, aren't we? And so the children wrapped up their adventure, having proved their mettle. And each returned to his or her own home safe and sound. Oh no! They slipped in quietly so that none of the adults would notice. Except, of course, for us! Of course we're the ones who get found out! Of course. You! You little fools! What do you think you're doing running around in the middle of the night? And sneaking out to do so without a lick of permission from us? Well, no, I don't think that it's all so bad as you say. What are you saying? You're far too lenient on these kids. When a child steps out of line, a scolding is what you use to get him back in line. Now step up to the task. Um, Pops, I'm really sorry. I don't know, maybe it's all the nerves, but I'm suddenly bushed. So I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> oh, just a minute, Gabriel. We're not done talking about this. Wake yourself up right this instant. Uh, yeah. Ah, convenient time to pass out. If that's how you're going to play it, then Neon! I guess you alone get the pleasure of being lectured by me. What? I hope you're ready! Uh. It's because you inconsiderate little rascals, gripe, 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 anyone with even an ounce of common sense would nag, nag, nag. <laughs> gripe, 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 nag, nag, nag. Nag, nag, gripe, gripe, gripe. I find it kind of funny that Nuzleaf was like just kind of like perfectly fine about it. It's just like, no, I think that's just going a bit too far. And so Neon ended up on the receiving end of one of Caracosta's infamous lectures. Unable to escape until nearly dawn, and all in Gabriel's place. And of course Gabriel gets to sleep while I'm alone in the torture chamber. Well, we're like half-ish way through in terms of bosses. But it's entirely possible that there's just a lack of major bosses for quite a while. Because again, we did basically do a third of the bosses of uh, GTI in the first stream. So 
Who knows how many more there are. Chapter 9, The Village's Sacred Spot. But I do believe that that shall be it for now. We've been going for four hours. Huh, we've been going on longer than usual. We got a bunch of story. And again, this feels like a kind of simple, like, for all ages anime kind of story almost. A slice of life school action adventure. It's, it's, it's kind of neat. I really like this game so far. Sure, I am a little worried that there might not be a lot of time to tell the major part of the story, like what scared Rayquaza, what gave Deoxys the bad vibes of the planet, what turned Waylord to stone, what was that dark Mahaha voice saying that discontent is on the rise, what is it that the Expedition Society is doing? It's like, I don't know. What about the Bayhem? There's just like so much that we have left unpacked, and I just really, really, really hope that the boss-like layout isn't saying literally, oh, you're halfway through. It's just that we beat four bosses, and the other four bosses are more spread out across the story. Hopefully, at least. Because I just want a lot of nice story to happen. But so far, the slice of life is nice. But uh, considering this is a Mystery Dungeon game, I can't wait for things to ramp up. But... So long as there is a decent amount of time for that ramp up and major storytelling to happen, I am perfectly fine with this nice slow burn slice of life segment. I'm really liking it. It's super good. <laughs> it's just kind of hilarious that they've pulled the illusion legendary for the second time. <laughs> but yep, I do believe that shall do it for now. I really like Gabriel. I like that Gabriel is flawed in a few ways that yeah he'll not listen to adults go to dangerous places but he's like a very well-meaning pokemon he'll go to a dangerous place because he wants to return somebody's like very special item he'll go and try to save others despite his own fears and he Basically, almost like it's like he he refuses to sacrifice others for himself, and then apologizes for not letting others get a, a say on the sacrificing. It's like, then again, that was mostly because they were now in danger because of it. But still, Gabriel is a good bean, and I still can't get a read on Nuzleaf. Like, I don't know. It's like, he's well-meaning in an odd way. But I, but there's, a, there's obviously something mysterious going on. There has to be. The fact... I also just realized none of... Well, no, I just I just, just realized because it was kind of played off very quickly. Because I, I forgot that we told all our class that we're a human. I forgot that, actually. Because for a moment, because I, um, I was on the thought process train of thought that... Nuzleaf was the first Pokemon we told we were human. And then it took us a while before telling everybody else that we were human. But not every everybody else. Just as classmates. I, I, you know what? I really, really hope that the classmates play an important role in this story. It'll be very disappointing if they kind of fall off once the story ramps up. Because we spent so much time with them. I hope that they have an important part to play. But... Yes, I do believe that that shall be it for now. We made a lot of progress. We played a lot, enjoyed a lot. Again, I'm just really enjoying the gameplay here. The expeditions are a neat way of doing it. It kind of makes it simpler in a way. Also, I just realized uh, one of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stories that I have cooking in my brain. Like, I kind of reinvented the, like, the, the connection orb in a way of like here's a remote way to like get sent missions <laughs> and Zorark came out before this game so if you want to do the illusion legendary use a Zorark yeah like Zorawa was in GTI Gates to Infinity the last game the last Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. So yeah, it's just kind of... I guess maybe they felt that they wanted a very cute Pokemon to juxtapose 
with being an illusion Giratina. And they figured that Zoroa might not be as, like, super cutesy. I don't know. Who knows? It is still kind of weird because Zoroa and Zorak are fan favorites. So if you're going to use an illusion and have a normal Pokemon be that illusion, why not use Zoroa? <laughs> I don't know. But I do believe that shall be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, everything that I do is linked in my link tree. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. So if you want edited YouTube content, I swear I'm making progress slowly. I get distracted a lot. But my edited content YouTube channel is there as well as uh, my streaming YouTube channel or my streaming Twitch, depending on your preference. And then after I finish this stream, all of these streams are then uploaded to the YouTube streaming channel for posterity and better quality than just letting the streams hang there. And then and then, if you want to read stories like that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story I slightly mentioned, there are links to the writings I doth do from time to time. And if you want things like my little character in the corner, drawings that I do, then you can follow me on various social medias that I upload art to, like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Blue Sky, so many different sites. And then and then, for the very much affluent and generous, my Patreon is also linked there. If anybody wants to throw a dollary do my way. But yes, but yes, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, stay kind and stay hydrated. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.